Yeah. What's hey. up? Yeah, we we moving? We rolling? Yep. We are rolling. We're live. Chops? Nice. I feel like a poor little Yeg- boy. Yeager bombs? I need to find out. Me too. I was going to. Yeah, I really needed it. Donating blood plasma. I'm <laughs> lagging over here. How was it this time? I know last time they said you were. I have, said it was fatty. I had fatty plasma too. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Normal plasma is supposed to be yellow, and mine's filling up and it's all pink. And I'm like, why does my plasma look different than everybody else's? And the guy's like, we're gonna have to get your plasma tested before I can pay you. And I'm like, what? I think it might be too fatty. See how it's pink? And I'm like. Yeah, fuck, dude. Like, <laughs> you're making me feel bad right now. Like, this is what fat shaming feels like. Like, fuck, dude. He tested it. It was cool. But I went back today. I'm like, I'm definitely having yellow plasma today. I'm like, I didn't drink any beer last night. I had grilled chicken for fucking lunch. Getting prepared. Like, yeah. So they don't judge you about your yeah. plasma. And the girl's like, it was. It was much more golden today. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> fuck. Can't so it all just depends on like what you did, like. Yeah, no, days before or whatever. The, like twenty four hours before, yeah. you have you have fat so, in your so blood. What are you doing and, it for? Huh? What are, What are you uh, doing it for? Money. Yeah, <laughs> no, there's no there's actual money. reason for yeah, it. Yeah, money. I'm just, well, maybe to save a life. Yeah, money. it's good. It helps people. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. cool too. Yeah. That's a nice little side note. Right. But dude, 150 bucks a pop really? twice a week. I'm gonna make 1,200 <laughs> bucks this month. Yeah, and her get um, Ashley referred him, so she'll get an extra hundred. Yeah, oh, really. So you get a hundred for the first referral. And then what do they do? Like, how do they do it? Uh, they hook you into this little thing, Freak out. and it <laughs> takes your blood out and pumps it through a centrifuge thing that spins it yeah. and separates it, and then it pumps it back into you when they take it out. Dude, there's like a liter of plasma. Yeah, it's like eight hundred and some yeah. milliliters yeah. or something, right? It has to weigh at least a couple pounds. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll take that. <laughs> Feel it all some type of way about this fatty plasma, right. but they just took two pounds of liquid right. from me, so let's yeah. go. <laughs> and then they put the blood back in you, and then you're good to go two, the day after. Two days. Oh, yeah, it replenishes within a day, and you can go back in two days. Yeah, it's going to be healthy for you too, right? And they say something about that? Mm-hmm. I thought it was. Because they do something that's, like, illegal in, like, sports where – People get their uh, blood like drawn, the then doping. they spin it, and then they put it back in you. Yeah, yeah but they, like maybe they put the plasma back in now. Yeah, I don't know how that – I don't know what they do, but I know there's something or that does it. Or they're putting other people's blood into you. I think yeah. that's a thing. I think yeah. they, like, take your blood out and put good blood in. That'll test good. Yeah, I think I that know. was the game. Is that what oh, like, yeah. the problem was? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. I think they're taking your yeah. blood out while simultaneously putting good blood in. So you're, like, getting so a I was blood listening to someone. I didn't, like, listen, like – Good enough to fully understand it, but they're like athletes do it just to stay healthy for somebody. They like spin your blood and then put it back in you, and it does. Well, yeah. Well, there's that. I don't know if that's the NAD. There's one of them things where they do that. They take it out, spin it around, and put it back in. I don't know if it's the same process or not, but it just made me tired. Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) I was a little sleepy. You get paid, so fuck it. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. trying to trying to make a little side cash because then you get a little debit card. Fuck it, I'll use that for yeah. gas and Wawa and shit and not jack my goddamn credit card up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know that's been happening. Thanks, Biden. <laughs> 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 Fucking jerk. Biden, who's barely alive. <laughs> see him fall, see he him. said he's good. He's yeah, good. sure. <laughs> he he slipped up and told everybody that he has cancer. That was strange. I didn't see that. He's like, yeah, me... Delaware is the highest cancer rate, and me and all the other Delawareans that are battling the cancer from Delaware, and everyone's like, huh? You got cancer? And then the White House press secretary comes, no, 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 no. He had skin cancer before he took office, but they took care of it. That ain't what he just said. <laughs> yeah. don't know that is not what he just said. And then he got COVID, which is mm-hmm. even scarier. Like, fuck, dude. Fucking, you're old. That's going <laughs> to yeah. get you. Now we just got monkey pox. I was going to say, yeah. dude, have you <laughs> seen the pictures yeah. of what it looks like when you have it? Yeah, I was like, I was it like, literally I looks looking? like monkey herpes spots <laughs> all over your <laughs> mouth and shit. Giant brown dots. Yeah, like the first guy had them like big on the stomach and shit. Uh, and like, uh, so it's uh, like New York is like right at the top of the, yeah. right, like the first people to people in New York. And now they're all it. trying to be social, socially correct by saying you're not allowed to say that it's affecting gay people. 
because you're doing gay people a huge disservice right. by not telling them this. It's, yeah. like, it's like 98 out of 100 fucking people that get it are dudes that have had sex with other dudes. Do whatever the fuck you want. Fuck as many dudes as you want. But if I was a gay guy fucking a bunch of dudes, I'd like to know, like to know that that's happened. a possibility yeah. that that could come. It's kind of fucked up to be like, don't talk about that when that's who it's affecting. Like, I don't know. Just a strange... Strange time we're in. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the world. It's a fucking... <laughs> can't say shit that you probably bunch should of, say. Or a bunch of non-gay that. people coming up with this fucking yeah. rule, you know? <laughs> Everybody's good? Everybody got their tickets? Yeah, we got more today. Did you buy your uh, lottery tickets? We got more today. Is it, you got to buy them every day, I guess, huh? Well, no, I didn't buy it today. it's you got something Tuesday up? and Friday. I think when did uh, her her parents bought? Yeah, Friday bought is the next other one. day. Yeah, or today is the next one. And the uh, drawing was Tuesday, so I was over what Monday. Yeah, I think so. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, tonight's the next one. So yeah, Friday's. like one one point two billion or some bullshit That's like crazy. that. That's super crazy. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'll get some later. <laughs> I got some. <laughs> Yeah, some guy at work was talking about, like, the, the tax. He was like, they tax so much. I said, I don't give a shit what they tax. I said, mm-hmm. 1.2 billion? You take me down to 10 million, I'll yeah. still be the happiest guy I think ever. You're getting around 300 million. Yeah. It's, I think you get more, more than that now, I think, with that. Yeah, so. well, it's got to be, he does yeah. not take 70%. Yeah, well, no. I forget who. They'll probably take Because you get to state, your, your federal, all that stuff comes out. Yeah. But I think they said, when it was 810, I think they said you still got, like, like six something. No, was, I thought it was almost half. That sounds high. Yeah, yeah was that? Well, so that was like with the Fuck first tax. Dude, I can they make that work. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit. Yeah. That's what I told him. I said, I don't care what they I take. I sure as shit make that work. <laughs> would you do the cash? I think we talked about it. Would you do the cash thing or would you do the. Yeah, I'm too old to do the damn 30 years waiting. I'm not going to get my last know, check. No, he sounds pretty nice getting that. How much is that a month? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's 200,000 or 200 million that you walk away with divided by 30 years, that's. Yeah. They said it's like, I don't know what this one is because this one's crazy, but one of the other high ones, they said it was like you get 300 and something thousand for like per year or something like that for the 30 year, whatever the hell, whatever the math was. Is that for all it is? One. This would be like three well, million. Yeah, it's, it's broken over much. 29 years is what they break yeah. it down to. So I'm not trying to get my last check when I'm like 70 or something. So yeah. I'm just taking the cash. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I know there's a lot of people blew so, through that shit though. Yeah. But, like, Mark, Mark Cuban talked about it one time, and he said if you're young, like, if you're just hitting, like, 21, he was like, be smart and take the cash or the uh, annuity, annuity yeah. because you're going to be stupid and blow money. So at least you got something coming in every year if you fuck, fuck up the first year yeah. or something stupid. Yeah. He said, but once you get to a certain age, he was like, you just take the damn cash and be done. You remember yeah. that uh, car dealership, Fairdale Dance? Mm-hmm. He hit the lottery twice and blew it all. Both really? Times. Yeah. And, like, good amount? I mean, decent enough, buying, balling out on his garage at home, fucking motorcycles, cars, a kid that fucking got in trouble quite a few times, and bail money, and fucking lawyers, and <laughs> Damn. hit the lottery fucking twice, or definitely over a million dollars each time. Oh, okay, so he did get he good got a amount good of amount of money. I yep. bought my first car there. <laughs> yeah? That Buick Skylark I had? Really? It was from Fair to your day. That's funny. <laughs> and then he was, he was married to Meatball. You know Meatball? <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> funny story. Meatball has like a tick where she, it's like Tourette's or whatever. Mm-hmm. Meatball, meatball, right. meatball. She like, she says it. She, she like, She's got the rain man. Yeah, she, like, she, she, she says nickname. meatball yeah. to everybody. You come up to her, what's up, meatball? What's up, meatball? She says it to you. Hey, meatball. <laughs> <laughs> That's your name. You're meatball. Fucking. So when we were kids, we were at my Uncle John's house on the beach. You know, he has that beach and it's like, uh. Down the street from the middle school. It's on the my, corner, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all our family used to ride jet skis and boats, and they would have shit there every weekend. And I was a kid, and I just remember there was eggs, and we all started smashing eggs on each other. And I smashed eggs on, like, I smashed an egg on, like, my aunt, and it, like, sprayed meatball with egg stuff. I can't get it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and meatball was all drunk. It started costing me up and down. Chase me out into the water. It's hawking eggs at me <laughs> as I'm running out into the water. Then my mom starts laying in the fucking meatball. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this whole thing. I swear to God, people don't remember nothing. She, I've seen her a thousand times after that. I 
don't think she recalls right. anything about it. I just remember being a little kid, you know, waist deep out in the river, <laughs> just ducking eggs, <laughs> ducking <laughs> eggs at me out in the water. Shit was so funny. <laughs> Fucking meatball. So are you related to meatball? Or are you Mm-mm. just somebody knew her? Family and... friend, yeah, she friends with my aunt Jean. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that fucking fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those good yeah. times. Speaking yeah. of throwing things, you see Kid Cuddy get the bottle throw at him? Yeah, he just walked yeah. off. Yeah. Don't hit me with one more bottle, one more. <laughs> <laughs> there was a picture video of the kid that actually threw it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Perfect fucking throw. Then they got mad he left. <laughs> yeah. But they were all mad anyway because it was supposed that to be he, Kanye yeah. was there. Or it was supposed to be Kanye. Yeah. What are him and see? Kanye beefing about anyway? Just uh, whatever the label, I guess something with it, because they had that whole good music <coughs> thing, yeah, or whatever. I don't know what the whole deal was, but I don't know because he was Kid Cudi did a whole like a song for his album, and he cut that that song out. He uh, did that for a lot of people. But then too. I yeah. heard he did that song on stage when because Kanye really? ended up coming out at that after Cudi left the stage because Kanye canceled, Cudi replaced him. Cudi left stage, and Kanye for some reason was still there. Yeah, <laughs> fucking and came, then they said he came out and saved it. Yeah, before there was like, like that a, sounds planned. They said on Schultz today, like that sounded planned. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, dude, the new yeah, episode why, of Schultz was fucking yeah. hilarious. Uh, did you I listen mean, to Whitney Cummings? Yeah, yeah, that one was the good newer, too. The one newer than that was, it was one of the ones where it was just them and they all just roasted each other so hard. <laughs> oh, I love when they just make fun yeah. of each other, dude. It was so good. <laughs> but it definitely sounds if you cancel your your concert why the hell would you be there anyway but right oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> right that didn't make any sense to yeah. me. Not, i thought they showed somebody else were getting a bunch of water bottles oh, really? i, I do remember that who was that oh, i can't remember it was it was probably a few months ago maybe even a couple of years uh, there was, ago. i thought this was a new one. Oh really i remember the baby got that reebok thrown at him <laughs> yeah. or no the adida yeah, adida <laughs> adida <laughs> He's like, who threw that adida, adida. <laughs> Shit. What's his name? Um, they said uh, it was Axel Rose, the leader of Guns the yeah. yeah. He like um, he would just leave all the time. Like somebody was taking. He would pictures. just not show up. Yeah, but there was one where they were taking pictures. He's like, that guy's taking pictures. Get him, get him. He was like, you better get the camera or else I'm leaving. And they couldn't get the camera, and he just walked off. What? You gonna take <laughs> pictures at the show? Yeah, and it was like back then. It was like them stupid Kodak. What? Yeah, right, like you'd a be disposable like, one. Just like, no, I got you, Axel Rose. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? What a dumb thing to get mad about. Yeah. Did you see Will Smith apologize? I seen he did. I didn't actually like I watch. S- the... It ha- just so happened he put it like just for, as soon as I got the or ate lunch today. I opened Instagram and it was like the first thing there. And he had just posted it. I'm like five minutes. I'm like, All right, what do you got to say, Will? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was good. I feel bad for the dude because he's like, he's. He's like reading questions from fans, and they're like, yeah. "Was it on Twitch or something?" They said, "I thought I no, heard." I just put it on Instagram. It was just a Instagram. Oh, video. he went Instagram live then. No, it was just a five-minute Instagram video like that video, he put yeah, up. It was like a reel. I didn't watch or it or whatever. But, um, but he's just like, they're like, "What do you say to the fans that look up to you and were disappointed and you know let down?" He's just like, "You just got to know, like, I'm more disappointed and let down. That's you know than anything else." And, he just owned it, dude. No, I felt bad. I know everybody jokes about it and shit. I just feel bad for the dude. He, like, got wrapped up in whatever the fuck happened. He, like, apologized to Chris Rock's mom. You can tell he's like, fuck. Yeah. What did I do? He's like, I don't stand by what I did at all. And they're like, why didn't you apologize to Chris when you accepted your award that night? And he's like, I was just in a fog by then it was just all happening like my wife's cheating on me left and right like i can't really i don't even support this shit i gotta pretend i do well then and they're like well did jada look at you and say something when she rolled her eyes to make you do it and he's like no i did it on my own i'm sorry i dragged my family into all this and i'm like you can say that about your kids but like your wife is like the reason yeah you started like your yeah, wife drug well. you into this like, like, yeah. you just got out of that relationship You'd probably be way better he's, off so, he's like sorry babe like apologizing yeah. to her still Dude, I hear what you're saying there, but she brought you to that point right. by doing all the shit that she did to make you feel that type of way where you needed to, like, stand up and be a strong man that you're not. Right. Like, right. I feel bad for the dude. That's all. Like, I know it sucks what he did and sets bad precedent and people start rushing stages and doing all that shit, but it's like, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it would be like to be that fucking famous and be on that fucking yeah, stage and that level of scrutiny on your life constantly. It's got he opens himself up to it too. So I yeah. it there. But then all his personal life shit is all out there too. Right. He opens himself up to that. They put it all out for everybody. Uh, well, that to was see. her little red table right. podcast. He or whatever, puts everything right? on. His, I, I mean, I follow him on Instagram. He puts everything like any but movie scene he's shooting, and they like. Mm-hmm. You can tell they spent time on his Instagram videos because they all got yeah, like, special yeah, effects. I was gonna say he's got shit. people doing it for. Yeah, like, he's, yeah got, he's like, in them, but I mean, you know what right. I mean? Like they got a good. They're produced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they got some crazy special effects going and, and whatever, which is cool. But that was like that one video where she's filming him and putting it on her Instagram live or whatever. And when he got mad or something about like the that? therapist yeah. or whatever, we could talk. He's like, my social media is my bread and butter, and you're not allowed to just put me on your live, like, in my house. I'm in right. my fucking house right now. Like, turn mm-hmm. it off. Like, get me <laughs> off of here. Like, fuck, dude. This is crazy. And he's all, um, with uh, Chris Rock and Kevin Hart. The he, goat? He gave him the goat, and then he called, he said his name's Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> There's shit on his foot. That shit was funny as hell. Did it? I didn't. Yeah, hear, yeah. I just heard about that. Uh, yeah, I watched the video because they got like a it's like somebody's. I don't know who did it. I don't know right. who put it up there. But was right. Chappelle on there too? Yeah, because yeah. it was those two, and then he came out to be the opener. But then at like the very end, they all all <coughs> three were up there, and then Kevin Hart brought a goat out and gave it to Chris Rock. And Chris Rock is like goes they like move it or pick it up, does something, and just shits all over his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got fucking shit on my white <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I saw Kendrick Lamar is bringing a ventriloquist on stage with him. Is he really? I saw that right before I came over here. It was just weird. It said there's he he's holding this ventriloquist. It's got this like dead stare on its face, and he's just like there was just a picture of him like holding it next to the <laughs> mic while he's fucking whatever. I'm like, what are you doing? Dude? What are you doing? Right now? <laughs> it did get a little weird. I saw a picture of me. Just I thought it was um Andre three thousand. It was Kendrick Lamar, but he had like his hair was like straightened and just like long. Oh, really? And I was like, that's, and then I read and I was like, that's Kendrick Lamar. I was like, that's <laughs> fucking same as like when, like, right before Outcast was like, you yeah. should probably stop listening to him because right. you know what I mean? It right. got a little weird. Yeah. After speaker box and <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. After, yeah. So you're like, what the fuck is happening to this yeah. group or him, I should say, because Big Boy was pretty much stayed the same for the most part all the way through. But <laughs> I was like, I thought it was the same picture you see of uh, Andre 3000. <laughs> I, lo- I I fuck with Kendrick. He's one of my favorite rappers. But then this, yeah, so do I. this new album came out, and I was super excited for it to come out. I haven't even listened to it all the way through because I tried to download it to listen on the plane on the way to Colorado, and my shit was fucked up and didn't download anything I wanted it to download. So I literally yeah. had nothing to fucking listen to. But I've heard a couple songs on my Pandora, and I'm like, this is fucking weird. Like, it's fucking different weird. than his other. There's a couple we have on our. And they are all. Every album is different and weird in its own way, and I think I have to listen to each one a few times anyway to like get mm-hmm. what weird right. he's doing. Well, it's the same yeah. thing. Like I just listened, uh, well, when it came out, listen to Post Malone's new album. I want to listen to that, and too. I was like, I fucking hate it. And really? Then, but like as I hear so, like a couple of times, I like, yeah, listen yeah, to a couple yeah. more songs. I'm like, okay, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not like Post. Like when I was talking to Phil, and he's like. He's like, I've listened to it a few times, now I like it more or whatever, but I was just like... I've been meaning to listen to that, too. He was on But it's way send. different than the rest of them, because the rest of them, you'd be like, oh, he's going to make a video for this song, this song, like, mm-hmm. it'll be a single. And this one, you're just like, what the fuck Well, that's this? what they asked him on the latest interview I heard about, and he's just, they're like, this one's, like, a little dark, you know? Yeah. And he's like, well, I was honestly ready to stop making music yeah, yeah, for a while, yeah. and then just, like... I finally decided, fuck it, I'm going to do it, and this is how I feel, and this is what I'm going to yeah. talk about. So I guess there's definitely no like dark. fucking no. wows or right. you know, better now or anything. Right. There's none of that shit on there. No like, singles. No, no, you could pick the radio out radio singles. He put out the video for uh, I don't know what's called, like I'm happy or something like that, or with Doja Cat on it. And who's Doja Cat? I, don't, I had to look her is up. She a rapper? <laughs> She's, I don't, she was on. Uh, it's like an R&B, I guess. The last season of Dave. Really? Yeah. I just saw a video of her winning some award. She stood up, slammed her drink, hit her vape box, and slammed it on the ground and went up. And she was wearing some dress where her whole titties were hanging out, and she just had silver pasties on her nipples. I'm like, this is what we're doing now? Yeah. Like, it was like the shortest dress or whatever, and it covered her torso, but her whole titties were out, which is silver pasties. I'm like, 
But man, that's like the shit my Instagram be trying to show me all the time now. Anyway, you see now they did. I guess they did whatever update, and it makes sense because I can't scroll through my. It's not safe to right. scroll through my Instagram anymore. That's what I'm they home. said. They said. Oh yeah. yeah. There's all this shit that I'm, they're suggesting all these reels to me of like fucking ass and titty and all <laughs> shit. And then it's not. You know how you scroll through and there's like three reels that they yeah, suggest the first you. Three, yeah. Whatever. I can scroll past that. Whatever. Now. It's suggesting like all these because you like the post from this, you might right. like this. Yeah. Because you watched a post from this, you might like this. Again, some of it's cool. It's all like stand up comedians and whatever. But even that, I'm a little fucking annoyed because like I choose I listen to lots of stand up comedians and if I choose to follow you on Instagram it's because I fuck with you and like I wanna see what I don't give a fuck about half these other comedians and yeah. I don't wanna see But I listen to the bit. I wanna hear like if it's sure, funny or not. Sure, maybe, but I I'd like to stumble on that like organically or almost, you know, like remember how they used to have that part on Instagram where you could see Brad McGraw liked six posts from this page or whatever. (laughs) There was like a separate page that it was like this person liked 10 posts and you can click on them posts that they liked. And that's how you found new pages to follow. Cause you're like, Oh, I like this person. Let me see what they follow and they like, and then you get to, now it just like is using some algorithm to go. We think you're gonna like this. Yeah. It's like I I choose when I look up porn. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, like, you're fucking killing yeah. me here. Yeah. Somebody wrote an article. That's what it says. Like Instagram's about to be the that non not safe for work uh, seriously app or something like that. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. I'm like what is this? It's <laughs> it's like so close to porn. What I'm scrolling through. I'm like. I have specific times. Uh, I don't <laughs> right, look up right, my fucking porn. Right. It's not, you know, yeah, they were like, it's they're cool. Like, they're like, you're trying to not, just yeah. look up like some fitness shit. They're like, you're about to get a whole bunch of other right, shit that yeah. has nothing to do with but, fitness. But, but, <laughs> but, right. but, 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 I'm not mad about some butts, but, yeah. <laughs> right. But there's a time and right, a place. And right. if I'm scrolling through Instagram on the couch with my wife next to me, you don't yeah. need to be suggesting <laughs> all this yeah. shit to me. You're fucking work. me up I, here. I don't need the person behind me and be like, damn, what's he into? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's what I was doing with the blood plasma yeah. thing today. I'm scrolling through Instagram and every other thing is trying to suggest a butt and a fucking... I'm like, yo, I got to get off Instagram, I guess. People are going to think I'm a goddamn creep. Mm-hmm. But I heard also today that they're going to roll back some of the shit. Yeah, I've just seen that. I guess because the Kardashians said something. So yeah, like, they we said they were making it. listen now. Make Instagram Instagram again. <laughs> they're making it too much like TikTok, they We want to see pictures of our... Listen, I haven't put a picture. I Every once in a while, I put a picture on mm-hmm. Instagram. But I've been doing reels on Instagram for like the past year because I realized I got way more traction with my posts. And you do got a lot of followers on it, Instagram. Eh, it's all right. It's white. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but I would get way more views and you can put music in. You can fucking go through and pick your song. You can't do that on a regular post. I guess you can do it on a story. So I realized I could put yeah. my music in that I want without having to use some third party app that puts their watermark right. on my video and dumbs the quality down and like all that. So I've, I've liked reels for a while. But I guess <clears throat> I don't like that they're suggesting them to me like they are. Like I agree. Like show me. I thought like I have family and shit on Facebook, which that app is deleted now too. At this point, I have my Facebook, but I deleted that right. because I just don't fucking care about what <laughs> anybody on my Facebook has to say about anything. Sorry, I just don't. And then I have my people on Instagram that I follow because they make cool shit or whatever. That's what I'd get on there to see. And they're like trying to tell me what I think, what they think I want to see. And it's fucking annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like if I go, like if you hit the search, the little magnifying glass to go oh, through. I, that's scary. It's like, it's, it's, <laughs> that's all UFC, I do now that it's I can scary. Yeah. UFC stuff. There'll be, uh, comedians and then there's just butts jiggling yeah it's like what the hell i was like yeah butts scattered in between me it's weed plants glass ufc and butts scattered yeah. between jiggling you see yeah, ass and titties i think that's all they do i think it's all probably they just all scatter it through they go, it's male like yeah you're 20 like, and 30 18 and 38 old. or something be, yeah. yeah that's fine that's like, our sneakers, demographic i'll still look up skateboard and shit all the yeah. time yeah, like, yeah, I got that shit too. like that yeah. and also it's like i'm pretty sure i didn't look up i mean i'll look at butts but yeah. i don't need to see like you know i think they just put whatever you usually look at yeah and then just sprinkle butts in it yeah it has to the, if they know you're a straight dude between 18 and 38 or whatever it is 
they just sprinkle them in. Yeah. Because I'll like, follow none of them bitches. Yeah. Like, or seek them out. It's going to be on definitely Instagram. a chick from Brazil. So they'll just sprinkle them in. Like, staring at her ass. They're like, oh, he's probably going to like yeah. this. <laughs> I looked this up when I want to. <laughs> Don't fucking sprinkle it in, please. <laughs> it's just annoying, dude. Oh, shit. So hopefully they stop doing that and just show me. The people I fucking yeah. follow, because <laughs> it is entertaining. I, I don't. I do get into the thing where you just scroll the butts. Scroll. No, not the butts. Like <laughs> when you're going through reels. But like if Trish comes in, I'm like, hold on. What am yeah, I on? Let me just leave it on yeah, this because yeah. I don't know what's coming. Yeah. yeah. What's next? Like, yeah. Is, like that Starburst comedian. Like I yeah. found him on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, and I'm like, funny. yo, he's funny as shit. Because I saw is a little on click. Schultz. He's funny. Yeah, shit. I just yeah. saw that when I hit like the little magnifying thing, and one day I was like, who's this guy? I was like, click on it. I was like, oh, like that's the funny. Short and then I checked dude, him right? out. Yeah. yeah. And I checked him out on YouTube, and all of a sudden I'm like, yo. And then he made a special come out. So I was like, yeah, this is cool. And that's yeah, how I found funny. him. Yeah. But now I'm like, eh. I guess I'm not trying to find a, a girl like twerking on fucking. Yeah. No, you not. got a YouTube special yeah. too. Like what the hell. You got your guitar, your guitar strung up over there, bro? Yeah, it's all strung up. I played a little bit. I yeah. guess I got to get a new uh, amp. That amp was messed up. But it was sitting out in my shed for a while. So, Can you play Smoke on the Water? Yeah. <laughs> just the beginning, not the whole song. Yeah, just... <laughs> dun, 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 Nothing. Dun, I feel like I would not dun, be coordinated enough to yeah. do that shit. I might be more so now than I was back in the day. When I was a kid, I was definitely more retarded. I definitely have more hand. Like, <laughs> All right, Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have more hand-eye coordination now <laughs> than I did back then. I think I could figure it out a little more. I think, I think Guitar Hero more patience, helped. Maybe more patience. Maybe. <laughs> I think Guitar Hero actually taught me how to do the things at the same time. I wasn't, even, I wasn't even patient enough for that. Yeah, you yeah. guys used to play it, but like, I play one. You played right, it with us before. Oh, I, yeah. I played on beginner. I'm, yeah. yeah. They yeah, said that's how Post Malone learned how to play guitar. Yeah, that's really? what he said. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's what he said. But I yeah. like Post Malone. Yeah, I think he'd be yeah. cool to hang out with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's fine. He's like the... Yeah. A big celebrity that still like drinks beer. Yeah, like it's Bud Light. Of, yeah. I love watching it. He like was on, um, <laughs> damn, who was it? Was it Steve O's? I think he was on Steve O's and uh or he does that podcast inside the van or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he was like he was like, You wanna uh I'm filling up piss in a bottle. Like he had a big jug and he was trying to fill it up. He was like, Oh yeah, I got you. He was like, See, just, he's like, I drank all this uh Bud Light. He was like, oh, I got you a good gallon. <laughs> but he was funny, like he just seems like like he just normal rolled, shit or grows whatever. Like, flow. Yeah. Yeah. like he's still wearing shitty outfits. <laughs> like yeah, you I see him, out, you see him out. He just got like a holy ass <laughs> uh, NASCAR shirt on or yeah. something like that. But then of course got like fucking million dollar grill in his right, mouth. Right. Like there's little subtle shit, but I prefer that than seeing like yeah. big ass diamonds all over the place and this that and the other. He seems cool to me. Yeah, because yeah. one of the suggestions that came up it was him like at a concert dancing in like cut off jean shorts yeah like he had yeah, jeans he always, he's like i'm yeah. gonna cut these because it's hot today <laughs> yeah. i haven't seen somebody wear them in a long time it's a little yeah. phrase hanging off yeah the bottom. he has a good little um i don't know have you ever seen him the bud light tours where yeah. he's in like a little shitty dive bar yeah like they i've got high and watch a shit out of they were good as hell i see i've seen a couple i went to a couple yeah back with ulysses he used to get these or was that the heineken heineken used to have these concerts that like you just went on their website and entered your info, and they had drawings or whatever, or the first however many people that signed up get a ticket. We went and saw Wale. We went and saw all the Philly, like Beanie Siegel yeah. and fucking Freeway and all them, like all the, the Philly Rockefeller dudes back in the day. We saw a bunch of concerts for free. It was just like yeah, he signed us up shows. on some fucking random list, and he's like, we're going to – the Barbary in Philly and seeing Wale. And I'm like, yeah, that's how, like this one sweet, <laughs> that he looked like dude. he was like an age age or something like that. So it was just yeah. like Hackney's on this tiny ass little stage. Yeah. with uh, He had, um, damn, what was it? Sublime, their band. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, wow. A couple years ago. The main dude. The dead dude's now, but the, that's but the, it, the, the, Yeah. The, but like their band was like helping him do the, the second one he did. Yeah. But like I said, they're just like a little, like you just showed up at AJ's and all of a sudden Post Malone's fucking there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was like crazy. I was like, but it was, Cool shit. I like when they do yeah. shit like that. I saw Nas back in the day in the Temple basketball stadium. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Me, Ryan, and John. There was a Nas. Nas came and did a concert for the Temple students. John got his tickets. We were literally like in the Temple basketball stadium and Nas. Did. He had the. He was just wearing plain jeans and a white t-shirt and literally the shiniest 
necklace I've ever <laughs> like the, the light they were shining on the stage was hitting this fucking diamond encrusted necklace and like lighting the, the crowd up like a fucking <laughs> disco ball like, it was fucking crazy that was the first time I realized like oh there is like crazy expensive jewelry yeah, that yeah. look like that like a regular whatever wouldn't reflect the light like that yeah. like that shit's different you I mean you know, you know who Slick Rick is. I know you know who yeah. Slick Rick is. Yeah. But him, like, he started all that, like, real big, like, tech jewelry. He was on, like, uh, GQ does, like, a little thing on YouTube. It's like, they show, like, people's jewelry. But he was on there, and he's like, I started all this shit. <laughs> yeah, just shit was ridiculous. I mean, there were like ropes the that looked like, looked like they were thick as a baseball <laughs> and shit like that. Because on uh, Jay-Z's Making It a Black album, he was in the backstage, and, uh, He's like whoever went on like before. For, Slick like, Rick was. Yeah, he was back there and he was like letting people uh, borrow his chains to go up on stage and shit <laughs> like that. And they were like, yeah, let me borrow that because he was there. Like he started all that like big ass gold chain shit. It was funny as shit. I remember the G unit one spun around. Yeah, it looked like a little spinner. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it spun in there. I haven't seen spinners in forever. Yeah. As yeah, I seriously. said, every every once in a while, I see somebody has like the stupid hubcaps that, still in their car, exactly. and dying. Like, I'm like, yeah, like, one of them don't so work. So long yeah. ago, <laughs> like, I would just be missing like half the uh, spinner, but it's still I'm like, just take them off. It's There's a fucking hubcaps. Dodge Caravan with <laughs> yeah. fucking spinners. <laughs> like, just pop that shit off. Shit <laughs> sure was cool back in the day. Yeah, even if you had hubcap spinners on a minivan, that shit was cool. We were like, damn, sold where'd Walmart, you get that? I think at one point, right? Where'd you get that hubcap, bro? <laughs> Walmart did that. Yeah. yeah. It'll be like you a. They don't sell none of that stuff anymore. They, they don't, don't sell, sell anything yeah, at Walmart don't. anymore. It's just all basics like that. But yeah, you have like a star, but it'll be missing one of the fucking things sticking out. Just be like, like, it was 2022, bitch. You just pull that right off. No or like deal. if they had it, was like a little rusty and like three of them were spinning. Yeah, it yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, just bent a little bit, so it just stuck in one spot. Oh, Everywhere else in the country is getting like new Walmarts that have fucking grocery stores and all this crazy yeah. shit. And um, ours just keeps devolving. <laughs> but we still yeah. make, it's like crazy when they show you like the money. Like, we bet. still make like yeah. the percent because nobody, you don't got anywhere else to go. Right. <laughs> yeah, we they don't. Do that. I guess everybody saying, like, balls. Yeah. In so. fucking Salem, Pennsville, Pensgrove, yep. Gar- like the yeah, whole yeah. area. You're What's coming down? down. Like I said, I'm surprised they haven't like expanded the food part of it. Just because like, yeah. nobody wants to go to Acme. They're missing I mean, I still a lot have to go money. to get shit, but. Yeah. You know, like if Acme and Walmart are high has shit, it, you're yeah. going to Walmart to get yeah. it. Is Walmart like a like a franchise? Like, is there like an independent person that owns yeah. that Walmart? Yeah, that fucking family runs all, all of them. Shit. Yeah. There's yeah. no franchise in a Walmart? Nah, I don't think so. Got it. They got like things, which I've never seen one. They're called like. Uh, a neighborhood store which is almost like a small convenience store they have like one manager and like three workers or something like that yeah, but i've never seen walmart? one they're probably in this yeah it's like a walmart but it's like a, a called a like walmart neighborhood or something like that but i've never seen i think they're probably in like, the like South a hard or something store. like in arkansas yeah. where they started I was like, that'd be cool i just go there and get paid that much money just be in a little convenience store yeah <laughs> i think you probably pay you like oh yeah minimum, minimum wage, wage. Was like, you ain't getting low. nothing big. yeah wherever they got that at <laughs> minimum wage ain't great but I remember when they introduced it, but I don't know if it ever, like I said, might never took off. So might just be wherever they're at is <laughs> that's the last one, especially now. Like Walmart, I don't know. We they get all these programs. Like we got, it's called Walmart Plus now, which is pretty much Amazon. Amazon, yeah. So we get like all of us because we work there, we get it all free. Like the membership's free. Oh, okay. I was like, cool. I, I was like, I've never that's used cool. it. Yeah, but it's probably <laughs> what, it probably comes in handy if you do use it. Yeah, but I always see like. Yeah, we got, like, the online pickup now. They can't find half that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, now I know, like, it comes from, like, a warehouse, so it's a little different. But, right. like, I know Amazon. I ordered that shit. That's coming the next day for it the is, most yeah. part. I was like, I don't, I don't know about this. But it was cool that they gave us, like, the membership, and then we can sign up for, like, a year's worth of Spotify for free that comes with it. Oh, really? Yeah, like, the premium membership and all this shit they got with it. Like, there's a bunch of shit. I haven't even looked into it, but, yet. Yeah, but That's cool. I mean, he says, I'll never use it, but I signed up yeah, for it. Yeah, I'm sure I have HBO for free from AT&T, and that didn't work, so good luck. Good luck getting anything. I wonder if I was supposed to have that shit, too. Yeah. I, I really have HBO you? Max from AT&T. At least it did when I signed up. Shit. I know, the carpet oh. really hits some wheels, don't it? <laughs> it stops it. Yeah, when I got I got my new phone, I got all that Apple TV they gave me for free, and all of a sudden that bitch cut out. Now I'm paying for all that shit. I'm too lazy to not sign up for it, so. <laughs> oh, that's just in Ashley's name so that she yeah. can cancel it when it's appropriate. <laughs> and then a week later, I'm like, babe, Westworld just started. You got to get me HBO back. That's <laughs> like, literally what Like Apple happened. Plus, I don't really watch anything, but like that Ted Lazo show. Oh, you like that? That shit's going to come on. I'll be like, 
Ah, yeah. Fuck, why do I cancel it? So right now I just keep it. It's only right. 10 bucks a month Find or something, something like that. Find something else to watch on it in, that, yeah. in the middle time. Yeah. We're about to bail on cable. Just fucking pull the trigger and do it. Yeah. Dude, she broke down a bill to me finally. She's like, I know you think I'm crazy. <laughs> but it's like a $100 package. But it ends up being like 165 bucks. Yeah, I know. I'm like, well, fuck this. You just got the basic thing, right? I mean, it wasn't basic, basic. But it was like, we had right. like paramount plus or the paramount channel so we could watch fucking yellowstone or whatever so it was like the upgraded channels package but still i don't I'm even like, go in there we there's, have there's 60 dollars in fees i'm yeah. like that's wild like i'm good because that's like fucking 10 subscriptions to all these other things right, right, so yeah. like bail on that get me not even the good internet because at first i was like let's get the best internet but then i'm like fuck this i've been like upgrading internet with them forever and it's never as good as they say it right, is. Right, it always right. sucks. This last one I upgraded finally does it work. But you, you, you stream shit. Run, right? You need to have like yeah, a yeah. better. That's what thing. I mean. And it has been working. But like last night I was streaming and I was dropping frames, so I went to speed test. My downloads was great, and then my upload is supposed to be around thirty, which is good. And it's at it's one and under, so I just stopped streaming. I was still playing, and I started up again, and it was fine. But I don't know why it cuts out like that. Like if I was popular streaming, right. That'd be shitty for me. Right, right. Like, yeah. Because they'd be like, oh, you just dropped all these frames. Like, I'm not watching. It's like just a bunch of pictures coming up for them watching. Yeah. I never put on, like, I got the basic uh, cable package, like the Wi Fi and all that stuff, but I never actually turn on cable TV. See, the yeah. only time I do is, like, I'll watch a show. Like, I'll watch an episode of Westworld. Right. And then it's 10 30. And I'm like, well, I don't want to go to bed yet, but I don't got another hour. I mean, so I put like fucking Adult Swim yeah. or Food Network or whatever, Shark Tank, just like something to fall asleep Man. to. And that, that'll that suck to not have. But dude, I'll fucking figure it out. Yeah. I'll just what like, about like. But I got like, if you find most of that shit, so like, go, I mean, we got way too many damn. We'll get, got, yeah, I was, I, I'll get the Discovery yeah, Plus. I was going to say, I got and Netflix. Has Food Network. I got Netflix, yeah. HBO Max. Peacock, because I wanted to watch a damn Halloween What'd movie. What'd you get Peacock for? Because that Halloween movie came out like two years ago or whatever. And you had to get that Yeah, because they had it free. And under, you never and canceled never. your... <laughs> oh my God, dude. Ashley would be cringing But right so now. I was like, never got that. So then we... What did I say? Hulu, yeah, I got like Hulu. So we got like five so, or six like paid and Apple TV. You're wild, dude. Yeah. To, ha- to have Peacock for that long. Peak fucking beat. You're keeping them afloat with yeah. that subscription. <laughs> but now they got like the offices on there because they took it off Netflix. So you, you can see CNN Plus that. too, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't get none of that. Fuck all that. <laughs> Didn't they cancel that already? Yeah. It's but like it's grand opening and grand closing with that shit. It was like a few weeks or some shit. But I go there, I'll be like, damn, it's still on here. And then I'll be like, I'm not going to cancel it. So fucking lazy. But it's true because like HBO, I'm pretty sure, has Adult Swim. So I can watch any of them fucking shows on HBO. It's just convenient to be able to just turn the channel yeah, on. Right, Bob, yeah. Bob's Burgers is all sweet. I don't have to decide what I want to watch on it. It's just on. Yeah. And then Discovery Plus, I think that's, that's Food Network. But I'm sure that also has National Geographic and Science Channel and like all that other shit that used to have cool shit on it. And now it's just a bunch of Bigfoot and alien shit that's like <laughs> yeah. cool shit. I kind of miss commercials though sometimes. Fuck. Like you know. when you're just I don't miss commercials. No, no, like it's no, it's so way weird. worse now. There's like so many more commercials than yeah, there ever was. Yeah. And that's the other thing I was thinking the other night and it was bothering the shit out of me. I pay $165 a month to the cable. Right. And I most of the things I watch on cable are commercials. So I'm paying to have them advertised to well, me. Yeah. And I started getting hurt. <laughs> well, soon Netflix is going to have them, so hey, you're fucked. Um, I thought that's only if you want, like, the $2. No, there's a nine ninety nine package. They were going over yeah. that on Tim Yeah, Jones they're going, like, the basics. And now if you want to step up, it'll be a premium package. But I think nine ninety nine has commercials. I think 15 is up to two devices it can be on. And nineteen ninety nine is up to four devices. Which is what the fuck they just upgraded me to my netflix used to be like 5.99 a month and then it was 9.99 yeah they send you and then it was 15.99 yeah i get it now it's 19.99 i didn't change a goddamn thing oh shit so mine might be 19.99 yeah it probably is so when you click there'll be a moment where you click on netflix and it'll come up like real quick on this true screen and be like click here if you don't want to upgrade to this which you just you end up skipping it because you're not reading this shit you're just clicking on netflix i've seen it pop up trisha bradley gets on there yeah, you know what I mean. And he probably go, oh, I don't know what this means because it was like thirteen yeah, something and went up to like fifteen something. But I remember it popping yeah. up one day and I, I did it and I was like, Well, I, I already got read that shit. Like, what was that? And I skipped right by it. And I already like, got so now when she- they did it before. I got the 
thing from my uh, in my email. Right. That said Netflix in whatever month is going to go up to yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got But that. I didn't get one for 19.99. Well, yeah, I checked my shit the other day and it was 19.99 came out and I was like that's fucking crazy. And then so Ashley was trying to convince me to get the non she's like we don't need HD. Just get the $10 one. I'm like fuck. No, right, yeah, like, you need I'm, the HD. I'm watching these high ass fucking resolution shows. <laughs> he buy, he buy all a big this, TV and he wanted right, to be like all the right. Good I'm here. watching this new TV that's all HD on some that shit that's filmed and made to look as good as it can possibly look. And you want me to watch it all pixelated? Right. Fuck <laughs> no. So I'm like, I'll get the one step up. But yeah, they just keep as they come out with higher packages, they keep charging me more fucking money for it. Twenty dollars a month for Netflix is pretty fucking wild. Cause and you can't yeah. find shit. I can't. I used to watch so much more shit on there. Yeah, and I now like it's it like worse. once every month or two, it's like oh shit, okay. There's go, Stranger Things is back. Scroll yeah. through like yeah. Ozark yeah. right? Yeah. You scroll right. through like new releases. It's like all like twenty of the new releases will be just some foreign is, shit that you right. have no clue what it is. It'll be yeah. like crazy, like or just some like, shit where you watch the preview and you're yeah, like, I'm you guys are taking, you guys are. Fucking taking a shot in the dark with this one. This yeah. is, I don't know. If this, who approved this? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Gosling's in some new movie or whatever. And a great man. Yeah, and Trish was watching. I was like, this is. I'm, like, I'm not watching this. Yeah. I, I, I like pre- Ryan Gosling. Yeah. It's going to ruin it because all these actors just take a payday with Netflix. I haven't even right. seen that dude, and all of a sudden he just popped up out of nowhere. He's got right. making a fucking Barbie movie. <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All I see is memes about that. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'm like, I know they're doing that Barbie movie literally from memes. Because that's all I heard of, because I kept seeing like pictures of him with like this blonde hair, and all of a sudden Gray Man's on Netflix. I'm like, well, I ain't even heard him say a thing about All I've heard about is him being Ken and Barbie. Or, I just saw a clip, and the girl's the like, is. why is your name six? And he's like, because 007 was taken. Yeah. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> This movie. <laughs> when they put them corny, I seen that too. Like when they Fuck put them corny this, jokes in yeah. there, it's like, nah, I ain't working on nah, me. Nah, Trish, like, do you want to watch this with me? Nah. And I like, I was sitting there watching. I was like, oh, this is stupid. I'm not. In, it's like an action movie too, which I'm not yeah. really into. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, um, I already watched it, so I already know. Like, it's not that bad. That man from Toronto. Oh yeah. I was talking about like, yeah, it's not that. a bad movie. But if you go on Netflix and watch the preview that they show, they're literally sitting at a. Uh, the diner. I remember you watched it. Yeah. So remember when they're sitting at a diner and he meets the his wife. The girl? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the preview they show yeah. on Netflix, and it's there's nothing funny happens. Nothing. I was like, if somebody saw this preview, they'd be like, Yeah, I'm not I, I watching think, that. I think you told What's me that last time. Toronto? The uh, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, and Woody movie. Harrelson. It's like oh, a, that tried. It suggested that to me too, and I was like, I don't think I want to watch this. Yeah. It's not. It bad. wasn't. Like it's bad. got some funny shit to it. So. And I should. I should have gave it a chance because that. True story shit, Kevin Hart, that was good. Yeah, I that thought so, too. I was real good. Yeah, I still haven't watch watched it. Dude, that shit I'll get around to it, but... Yeah. And that was, uh, fucking, uh, who was his brother? Oh, Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Yeah. He looks so He was really different. good. Yeah, he So did. good. But he was, he like... Was good in it, Yeah, though. somebody was talking about like, that. I don't remember like, you being this he, tall. He needs to be in more movies now or something like that. Well, you gotta figure he's next to Kevin Hart. That's true, too. That's true. I didn't think about that. But that was really fucking good. I like how it blended... Whatever you, I'm like, like you could see this happening, like you could. Yeah. It, it was believable. That's what was cool about yeah. it. And did you yeah. know the guy, the obsessed fan guy? That was, was a real name? thing that happened to him. Oh, really? I was yeah. just gonna say he was in Sons of Anarchy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that whole thing he did that, like he did his bit back to him and said the n word in it, like on a plane somewhere. Oh, I'm talking about the obsessed fan. I'm talking about the the guy that was oh, all the one he was doing the Instagram stuff yeah. with because oh, he I, had seen him move the body, so he was being nice to yeah. him. Yeah, he really did that shit yeah. on the plane. There was a guy on like on a plane with him. Wow. And he did his that bit back to him. Like, That's that was an crazy. Bit. <laughs> People it was are so a white ballsy, guy too. It was dude. Like, He's like, oh, I'm not saying it. I'm just, you know, it's your bit. I'm doing it. Like, <laughs> like you can't do yeah. that, bro. Like, who the hell wants to hear their own bit? I'm like, bitch, I know. Yeah, that was such a good scene to, where he did that to him in front it was of awkward. all his job. No, but when he did it, when he called him out at his job uh, yeah. at the end, he had made that. him feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. But you don't fuck with Kevin Hart, do you? Or yeah, you I'm, don't. Either. I've watched. No. I've so, watched everything but that. I haven't seen yeah, that. Like That's the only thing I've ever seen. has gotten a lot yeah, worse. it's not. Uh, I think the yeah. stand-up me Ashley and Larman thought was funny. He did, and I was it was in like yeah that last one he did in his house. No, this I was is, just like this has been probably been four or five years now. Yeah, like his first whatever. What I'm mean, not the first. The first one the was funny one too. I liked too. Yeah. Yeah. It took man. me a while to yeah. like. And I went back and watched it after. My favorite. Yeah, 
after that, that yeah no, no, like me, each oh. one but the one in this house and i was just like now you're just the rich one in his shit. house sucked yeah and i was like you're just rich as fuck and you have nothing to talk about now. and it was the pandemic <laughs> like, I mean, you're stuck inside yeah. you yeah. haven't practiced these jokes on anybody right they they're not good <laughs> yeah it was just awkward some yeah. of it i didn't like that at all but yeah i've seen every yeah kevin i, did not I watched like kevin hart movie just because i know that something in there is gonna be funny even yeah. though everything is pretty much the fucking same the like one movie, where his movies. wife got sick, that was really good. Fatherhood? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit was real yeah. good. But, yeah, that's the only one I haven't seen, that true story. I just didn't watch yeah, that. Yeah, you should watch and, that. And, like, the man from Toronto, I was just sitting there, and I was bored, and I was like, you can't, you know, it has to be something funny in there. Because he was now I was like, it's like watching, oh, what the fuck movie did I watch? But Adam Sandler. And I'm just like, it's not going to be amazing, but it was. Um, the basketball one in Philly? I haven't watched it. I want to watch, watch that. It. My boy said that it. was good. good. Yeah. So it was real good. I keep saying, yeah. like, I got to sit down and watch it. And I'll end up watching it. We talking about else. that. I'll cut gems. No, the yeah, wrong that Missy. Was good. That was awesome. The wrong, yeah, the wrong Missy, like by him. The what? Like, that he made. He's not in it, but yeah, uh, the wrong Missy. He produced it. You got to watch David's that. That shit is so funny. Yeah, I never heard of it. <laughs> oh, no? Yeah. It's on Netflix. It's yeah. really funny. Like, it was one of them. Thing? It looks like it's, yeah, it's going to be like one of them corny. Yep. Netflix did the movie. It's, and that's how I sat down really to watch good. it. I was like, I'll waste, waste time watching this. And now I'm, and the, then I'm texting the them. Wrong, like, yeah, you got to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> wrong Missy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a movie. Yep. Yeah, it's on there. It's like Netflix movie, but it's his, you know, he produced it, that Happy Madison Matt, or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but it was like one of them ones that you just sit down. I'm like, I'll put this on for like pretty much background for the most yeah. part. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, this shit is good. Huh. <laughs> I was shocked for that. But I don't know who the girl is, but she did really good in that movie. Yeah, she's on a bunch of shit, but I don't yeah. know who the hell. I don't know her name. There's shit on there, but sometimes you just got to, like, search it the hell out. Yeah. But then they, like, put a lot of old <laughs> stuff and put new releases. Yeah, I know. My dad was mad about the Bigfoot nails. <laughs> yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with Bigfoot nails. Yeah. yeah. He is all. It's I don't just, know about Bigfoot. Yeah, the Bigfoot aliens. stuff, it's like a stretch. And then they do that uh, Skimwalker Ranch thing. I know. And I've heard them people on Rogan, and I don't believe them. I don't know. They sound funny. Well, now I got. Well, I don't know. That I watched like the very first episode on Netflix. And I, I guess, didn't know about the Netflix yeah. one. I'm so now they have the, a. There's a new show because somebody new just bought it. Oh really? Yeah. So like. I just thought I know the show on History Channel or whatever yeah. the fuck. So it's whoever on. owned it before you couldn't go. Like nobody was going there. But then I first heard uh, post. I watched Post Malone interview and he was like, "I'm gonna go to Skinwalker Ranch." He's like, "They're gonna let me go there. I'm gonna go tour that at night sometime soon." Because it's in Utah, and that's where he lives at or whatever. So yeah. then all of a sudden, Netflix show was Skinwalker Ranch is on there. So I watched, like, the first episode with the new dude that bought it. Yeah. He was like, I'm all into, like, Believes in Jesus, all this stuff. He was like, there's strange shit, and it has to link somehow. Maybe it'll link to that or whatever you want to say. So I was like, uh, so I watched, like, first episode. It was just out. a little weird. It wasn't yeah. anything crazy mm-hmm. in the first episode. But they just found, like, the first one, they called him out there because there was, like, a bunch of, like, dead cows. Yeah, that's but the there's like story, nothing, right? Yeah, but mm-hmm. this is like this guy still on happening. His, yeah, it's still on his ranch. He was like, "Well, this is so he walked." Ain't got out the there. ring. Somebody get a ring yeah. camera. Out yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These cows are still getting <laughs> mutilated, yeah. and no, yeah. nobody put a camera. Right. There's trail cams that solar power that just <laughs> fucking know. record Double everything. Work. I thought 1080p. Like, yeah. Right. Dude. If you watch anything on night like, vision, the Bigfoot stuff's yeah. weird though. Like I don't mind. Like it's cool. Like yeah. I'm sure there could be something crazy out there. There used to be. I think yeah. there did. Used but if you watch like the shows now that are on like Discovery, they're just like, it'll be like a tree branch. They'll be like, oh, that's that's Bigfoot out there. Yeah. I, figured, we're not there. I don't know. If I've, I heard him. I hear him. <laughs> they'll be like, nah, I don't think he did. That's no, just, I don't think he did either. Fucking trees fall all the time. Branches break. Like yeah. shit happens. One of the books I was reading, I think it was a Graham Hancock book, was just talking about fucking how there used to be all these different species of people. There's like homo sapiens. There's fucking... Neanderthal, there's all. They said there was so many different ones, and this is just this guy's right. fucking theory, or whatever. But I guess they found, whatever. They either all fought each other, and we won, right? Or you know, weird yeah. shit happened where the ones were from. But the, I mean, there's pygmies and shit still. Like it's not that unbelievable. There's like that's yeah. what I said. That's giant what I said. There's fucking like, people. There's little figure, people. Like, there's like in the ocean. Every fucking year they find some new fish they never right. knew existed. Yeah. So right. there's got to be something up in the mountains that right. nobody's going to. Colony so of pygmies that yeah, were all something crazy's happening. Breeding with know. each other. That fucking. And there's like still lands that you can't go to because <coughs> tribes will fucking kill you there yeah, and the, eat the, the shit yeah, out yeah. of you. The so guy that tried to go convert them to Christianity yeah. and they all just <laughs> fucking like, speared him. Yeah. So like, there's got to well, be like some shit that nobody's allowed here. You could discover, but you can't fucking make it there. So yeah, even be best left left alone. I'm always about. I just watched now for the first time ever. It's Close Encounters. 
Oh, the third oh, the, time. The third time? That shit I was made in 1977. I think I, I, think I saw a, it when I was a kid, but yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember it either, so it. I watched it the other day, and was I was like, good? that's pretty good for 1977. Like, that was right. fucking good. But then I, like, looked it up. It was pretty cool. They made the the big alien ship. Like, the mothership comes at the end. Yeah. And then he said, if you go, it's now in, like, the that ship is in the National Air and Space Museum. Then they said if you look real close, like Steven Spielberg made it. Yeah. So he put random shit in there. Jaws is on the ship. Really? Because it's made of a bunch of random models. That's how they put it together. So right. then he added like shit from other yeah. movies he made in there. So there's like a little Jaws figure. There's like, I forget what the fuck else. There's like four or five different little models that are, you just ET put in there just for fun. So I was like, that's pretty cool. That yeah. It's there. But yeah, it wasn't even bad. I was like, this is 19, whatever his name is, uh, Dreyfus, Richard Dreyfus. He's in it. He's. Uh. You're what you saw in Jaws, right? Yeah, the dude with the beard that goes mm-hmm. out with him. That that's him. That's so, Richard Dreyfuss. And that was before, because I think that was 1975 was Jaws, or something like that. And then 1977 was that. So, have you ever seen the fourth kind? Close I don't. Know. It was just called the fourth kind, but it was about mm-hmm. aliens. Mm-hmm. That was really good too, because it was supposed to be like almost like uh, what's that one where they make it like it's real paranormal activity yeah like it's supposed to be like it's kind of like a movie but it goes by like she's a therapist and she like interviews these people who were abducted or whatever it's actually pretty cool if you've never seen it it's like a horror movie so you should probably watch it if it's it's gotta be on something i fucking pay for (laughs) (laughs) seriously yeah Yeah. (laughs) fucking peacock better come in handy for this they got movies right (laughs) what is the uh the one that beavis and butthead is paramount plus and you don't you got peacock you said (laughs) yeah and i need paramount plus for the new South Park special is on there too. The whatever part two, they had the first one. Did you ever the watch? COVID? Yeah, but not the one that was on Comedy Central. They had like a hour and a half long whatever. It, it was on HBO Max too, though, right? I think it was the maybe. pre, like after COVID or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched yeah, it. I, 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 I watch watch it on one of those. Like, they had, the Rand, Randy app. like saved like the one strain of weed yeah, forever, yeah. and that was yeah. Oh wait, no, I didn't see that one. He was all old, and he's like, "You need to keep yeah. this alive. It's all that will save yeah, us." I forget what that one's called, but I watched on that. It was called the Cinema app, where it has all the. It might be. You can watch, I think so. it's post pandemic or post COVID. Yeah. South Park post COVID. Oh, okay. I yeah, I seen the two COVID. They had two specials for yeah. that. So right? there's a new one of that, and then the new Beavis and Butthead. So I'd like to watch both of them. Yeah. It's gonna be a hard sell on Ashley just for two two yeah. like movies, <laughs> you know. It wouldn't even be that bad because I know. Let's get free, one month, five ninety nine. One the, month, two you movies. You get the seven day, but I, like, who the fuck's canceled after seven days? Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean? Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. I was, like, Dude, I was on it with. The, um, she wanted to watch eighteen eighty three, whatever that was on. I was Paramount like, Plus, because yeah. I watched the Jackass movie. Right. Yeah. So I watched that. And I was like, "Listen, you got this many days. I'm canceling." You better it. binge it. Yeah, and she did too. Dude, 18, <laughs> you didn't watch 1883? No, I wanted to, but dude, that shit was awesome. Yeah, I hear way yeah, better. Yellowstone's good too, but 1883, it's like, fuck, dude, that was a hard life back then. Yeah. Like, dragging fucking covered wagons through rivers, and right. got horses up to their necks. And your wagon's about to go under, you know? It's like fucking going over rocks. Yeah, Fuck. Yeah, when I first heard oh, I thought it was a movie. And then like, that. I was like, let me look in there. It's like, it's a series or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I thought it was a movie that was coming out. <laughs> it's, it's accurate, too. And it, they got, like, the cute blonde girl that's the daughter. But then she, like, puts her hands back at one point, And she's like, where, whatever, that she was swimming in. She got the hairiest armpits <laughs> you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, I guess this is historically accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Got that armpit bush. That's all that time. Like, they always show, like, all the uh, movies about, like, the Victorian age where it's all, like, beautiful, big gowns, dresses, yeah. everybody's dressed fancy. I'll be like, but they're still throwing loads of shit outside in the road. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, anybody showing and you they that? stink <laughs> underneath yep. all them layers. Yeah, I was like, they, if you read about all that, that's. Yeah, they're wearing all them layers yeah. to keep I was that like, them funk movies, in. Yeah, those movies just make it look good. But. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Sex back then had yeah. to smell so bad. <laughs> Everybody had some kind of disease and this, that, and the uh, other. <laughs> just funk. <laughs> just a, at least a month's worth of fucking <laughs> funk on you. <laughs> under all them layers. Yuck. Yeah, it's just crazy. I was like, they make it look good, but. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That's why they had perfume. <laughs> Cover mm-hmm. up that stench. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. They all had syphilis. Yeah, I was going to say, they all had like, some kind of crease. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. 
fucking. I didn't even know until I was listening to Rogan. That's how Al Capone died. I didn't either. Yeah. 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 Well, I just I have a book. He has that one now. stupid ass movie I heard too. Yeah, it's with Tom Hardy. Yeah, I, I think you're the one that told yeah. me it was horrible. Tom Hardy does it called Capone. Really. It's and it seems hard. like you know, it's Capone, it's Tom Hardy, and it's like when he had syphilis, right? Yeah. I was like, because I watched it, but I didn't know what it was about. like. He's just he already had syphilis, so he's just kind of like slowly imagining like shit that happened back in when he could remember, you know, what right. I mean, when he was active doing shit. Right. He's just sitting in like jail or something, but it is hard. Yeah, yeah, I like Tom Hardy. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, yeah. it seems cool. And I, would shit. Like to and I was like, damn, this is gonna be so good. And I was like, oh fuck, what is this? <laughs> it's so he's like awesome it's Peaky slow. Blinders. He's like my favorite character. Oh, was he on there too? Yeah, such a good character on Peaky Blinders. And then he's been in, uh, what else is Tom Hardy in? Have you seen the one, uh, James Gandolfini's last movie mm-hmm. with him? It was something Delivery or something like that. Yeah, I think I watched it. It was good. Yeah, yeah. He I was think good I watched it after he died, and I was like, oh, I should watch his last yeah, yeah. movie or whatever the hell it was. But he seems, that dude seems like a cool dude. <laughs> He's practicing uh, fucking MMA now yeah. and shit like that, which he Tom I think Hardy he had, is? Yeah. Well, I watched the thing like years ago. I think I told you about it before where he was like, he went to like, Somewhere, I forget where it was, but it was, like, the coldest place ever. So, like, he went on a tour with these dudes in, like, these Tacomas that he, like, fixed up. And they pretty much keep them running. Like, you can't even stop. But he went into some, like, camp and, like, fought these, like, they were, like, teenagers. And they kicked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'll roll with you guys. He was like, I'm not going to win. And he was like, you know, still buff from, I think it was around, like, when he was Bane or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was still, like, big looking. He was like, I'm about to lose to these fucking <laughs> skinny kids. And he was like, this is just how it is. This is what you have to learn when you're doing this shit. And he did. They tapped his ass out. Fast as shit. He was big <laughs> as hell. Yeah, because they're <laughs> agile. It'll yeah, be yeah. big to be yeah. good at that shit. Yeah, because that shit's just all like movement. You don't got to be strong yeah. for it. You just got to have the good. You know, right. If you put your arm in the wrong spot, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, he seems cool. He was. Yeah. Went to like Action Bronson's concert and all this shit. He was Did backstage he? with him. Yeah, they posted pictures so together. That makes me like him even more. <laughs> I don't Did even listen know, to Action Bronson's music like that. I like it, but I just like him as a person. Yeah, me too. When I, I seen like, him. I used to watch that. Fuck, that's yeah. delicious all the fucking time. Yeah, I just like the he does dabs like yeah. me. He's like into the same weed shit yeah. as me. It's all about that flavor. All about that good fucking perfect temp He's hit. So He's a weed yeah. nerd to yeah. the fucking <laughs> max, and I love it. But yeah, I saw that, and then I saw the picture. Like, well, I think they both posted the same on. Both pages or whatever. So he was like the legend in something else right. or whatever. Fat guy in the legend or something like that. Even though he's all he does is work the fuck out now. Uh, Action Bronson. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the? Um, I think it's called the Fighter. Damn. Uh, we didn't do that thing with the yeah, lights, the John. Old movie. What happened? What's it on a timer? No. Remember when I turned the speaker off and this messes with the Wi-Fi? Mm-hmm. Oh well. Because nope. <laughs> remember I turned it off before and then turned it back on. And you're like, oh, why'd you do that? And then, because that happened before. I don't know, man. A little blurry. <laughs> yeah. Little blurry. Well, I mean, you don't do the podcast all the time. I think I told you the last time I did it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. But the fight was good. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might, we might have watched that together. Maybe. Wait, you know what? The fighter is Mark Wahlberg, isn't it? Uh, and Christian Bale? No, the fight... The yeah, fighter is warrior. Warrior. You're thinking of warrior. Crack yeah, warrior. I was thinking of warrior. Warrior. That's the Tom yeah. Hardy one, right? I think right? we watched fighter together, but yeah. warrior. Is... They're both good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fighter with Brian Callen in there. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I forgot. I was going to say, um, we were talking about um, old school. Did you know he was in old school yep. too? Because I just oh, watched it. Well, we watched it, and I was like, Yeah, Who was? I forget he's in there. Brian Callen. He was in old school. Yeah, he was like a small part. Like when they go to the diner with the one girl, he always plays the same as he does he in does the Hangover. Every, yeah. yeah, the is Hangover. That a Todd when he Phillips played. movie? I don't know. Maybe it probably <laughs> is. It seems like Todd Phillips. Like, yeah, it looks. Oh, like he's I'm making be a on joke. Rogan, Callum. Yeah, because he. Um, I listened to Fighter and the Kid, and he said he was going to be in Austin. Oh, I just saw yeah. Callum put a clip up uh, or on Instagram today. Him and Rogan. Yeah, I seen that. But he said he was going to be there, and he was doing a show at. What's the one they always do in Austin? Vulcan. Yeah. He was like, oh, we're doing a Vulcan. He was like, and somebody is going to a special guest. And then it was like, everybody knows it's Rogan. Yeah. I haven't <laughs> so. listened to Callan in a while. Yeah. They're- he got a little weird to me, man. He like, I don't know. He's just, I guess because he's silly, you know? Yeah. He gets like too silly sometimes. <laughs> well, like they're, him and Brendan's Pod- podcast, yeah. they do get, it's like, all right, we get it. Let's <laughs> move on. But yeah, he always has. That's the only problem I don't like. I like when he's funny and shit, but sometimes he has this fucking story for everything. Yeah. But like, actually, 
1977, yeah. this has fucking yeah. happened. And I'm or like, God like, damn it, man. How do you know these stupid fucking yeah. facts that I don't want to hear about? Or like her try to give out, um, he was like, all right, here's a question. Answer this one. And it's like, some, and they're all guessing, no. You're close. It's close. You're yeah. close, but it's not that. And then God forbid you get somebody on there that worked out before. Oh, yeah. No. That's why I don't like the other guy on there. Uh, what did you do today? You yeah. did like 700 push ups? Because <laughs> your chest looks so good. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, he gets silly and yeah. gay. Yeah. Like, yeah, he does. Yeah. You don't yeah. got to be gay and silly all the time, yeah, bro. Yeah. What the fuck's that guy's name? Mark? Yeah. Some Every other, time. He, I'm yeah. liking your legs today. Yeah. Legs when he first got on there, I was like, holy, I can't even watch these episodes because you just won't shut the fuck up. Like, I get it. Like, it's like cool. Rogan with the cars. I'd follow JRE Companion on Instagram and it like, did I ever tag in anything in that? This uh -huh. dude just like listens to the episodes and he'll like look up all the shit and like put pictures up of what they talk about. Go to J. I, I thought you were going to do it. I was just making sure. <laughs> if thing. you go to JRE Companion, he like literally goes through the episodes and he'll go, this is the car they were talking about. This is the whatever to, and you know, do a screenshot, swipe, whatever. It's pretty sweet. But I saw today. It was like whatever guest it was. It was nothing but all cars. Yeah. Like, I ain't listening to this right. one. <laughs> <laughs> Not even going to get into that one because it seems like they talk to cars about cars for three hours. Yeah, he's got a whole special one, like, or like a YouTube video. It's like 40 minutes long about somebody building a car. I forget what car it is, but I'm just like, like it's a cool car. That's the one he did for <laughs> Jay Leonard's garage or whatever. Yeah. Probably. I was like, yeah, it's a cool car, but I don't need 40 minutes of, I don't yeah. know, half the shit you're talking. Just show me the end result. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're doing over there. Right. But. <laughs> that would be pretty thing. cool, though. Like, the companion, like, there's stuff, like, because most of the time I listen to it. it would be and you cool don't end like, up looking it up. That's the right, idea. Yeah. But this dude actually. Or, like, like I mean, like, look it up Because you, yeah. you're listening to it all yeah. the time. Like, right. I usually watch the. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I watch just listen. Yeah, so I get to see, like, if they show this. Because sometimes they'll just be like, oh, well, you, you wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah. like, if you watch it, they'll just all look at the screen, and they don't show you shit on the screen. Right. And I'm like, yeah. every like, they just flash it quick, too, because yeah. I'll watch them, too. Yeah. And it's, like, super fast. But yeah. this guy actually, like, it takes the time. Whoever it is, like, a super fan. And Rogan, like, shouted him out one time and got him a bunch of fucking followers. And he does, man. He, like, does the fucking work to, yeah. yeah, put all that shit up. It's pretty cool. Gives you, like, a little rundown of what the episode was about. It's like They're cliff like, notes right. for a book you don't want to read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not going to listen to this, but I yeah. want to see what they talk about. Exactly. Y'all got three hours and to spare. you're like, you know? oh, shit, these are all interesting from this one. I'm definitely going to listen to this. I can yeah. see what this is about. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I hate to just be like, everybody be looking at the screen and just like this. And you're just like, well, I'm watching it. Why don't you just show me? What? Yeah. <laughs> like, I get if you're listening to it, you don't know what's happening right now. Yeah. But because it'll describe it, be like, right now we're looking, blah, blah, and I'll read yeah. whatever. But like, goddamn, I'm watching it on Spotify. Show me the fucking, I'm paying yeah. for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then most of the time, like, Rogan will read whatever yeah. Jamie brings up. Scroll up. No. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. No doubt. Right. That, that, right to the right. Yeah. To the right. God damn it. <laughs> Lisa's least not like Tim Dillon. He fucking rips yeah. him apart, dude. He does. Rips him apart. <laughs> he don't even care. <laughs> and he's... I listened to the Patreon today. It's... He's, he don't hold nothing back on the Patreon. He be talking yeah. about everybody because he knows most of the people he's talking about do not pay $5 a right. month to listen to it. Yeah. So he just lays into people. Dude. You can do it every one on there anyway, right? Yeah. It's like, old, it's like an old YouTube where you used to be able to do whatever yeah. the fuck you yeah. want. Yeah, people are paying for it, so yeah. you know what yep. you're getting into. You're <laughs> yeah. paying for it. If you don't want to listen to it, don't pay for it. And fucking, oh, yeah. He goes hard on the Patreons. <laughs> I wonder how it is for Rogan with Spotify because he'll just go on there and just play music. Like there, were, I think it was him and Bert were on there one time. He was like, "Play this song," and they were just well, they probably can't because Spotify owns all that. Yeah, shit they anyway, own all the so. music and yeah, he got paid. With, yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like yeah. I'm saying, like I wonder if Spotify is something where, almost like Patreon, where they can just do whatever. I yeah, think I so. Know. Yeah, I mean, if they own guess. the rights, all yeah. that music and shit anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> did you you watch Bill Burr's new special? Yeah, I did. Did you both there? Yeah, yeah, we were yeah. fine. Yeah. I was, I was trying to get my, like, we were on vacation. And I was telling my sister because she was, well, at first I tried to get her to watch that Star Stavers, mm -hmm. whatever, however you say his name. And she was like, oh, I'll maybe watch it. And then I told Bill Burr, she was like, I can't stand this voice. I was like, damn. I was like, you guys, funny as <coughs> shit. Yeah. But I just thought it was funny because every time, like, 
when he said it, he was like, when he started talking about like the WNBA. That's what yeah, we were like, talking about. Yeah. Right before they, like the girls were clapping, he was like, mm-hmm. all right, let's just stop he, now. He's like, have you not seen me? He was like, yeah. this is not going to go your way. And he, he, he did another one before that. He's yeah. like, didn't you see what yeah. just happened? This yeah. isn't going to work out. Well, when it got done you. with like the whole WNBA, I was like, yeah, that's exactly right. It was such a good yeah. point. He was like, you can girls sit here and blame guys for everything. Yeah. He was like, but. Look out in the stands. You ain't out there. Yeah. And I was like, guys, he was like, you stop by a bar. We're all supporting whatever the fuck we're watching. Yeah. Yep. UFC, all that shit. We're behind it. Yeah. I was like, he was like, but you girls act like we're the ones. Like, we're not going to pay you $10 million. <laughs> right. We're, for what? Because you sold 30 tickets. <laughs> like, what, how do you expect to <laughs> justify that shit? And That's now shit. they're about to fucking... <laughs> to get the WNBA girl back from Russia that had the weed pen yeah. and then there's like the meme with the guy that's like this and it's like all the people that have been in jail in America for weed for the best yeah. fucking however long and you see they're giving back a fucking arms dealer like an international Russian arms dealer their biggest arms dealer for, we uh, have him WNBA for player? Griner, for Brittany Griner, <laughs> and the one other dude. Like, dude, I want him to come back. They have to, we're yeah. getting two, and they're getting one back. But ours is a WNBA player <laughs> and like a journalist, and they're getting back like right. the number two <laughs> arms smuggler right. in, in the world. world. <laughs> yeah, bro, <laughs> like, I think we need to fucking work that out a little bit more. Yeah. That's not. Let's have some more talks because that seems a little crazy. That guy seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> like our people aren't dangerous. Got a girl I never even heard of until that happened. Oh, yeah. Same. <laughs> but it's also weird that that happened right after they were just talking about all the WNBA stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like getting at some spotlight. Right. I bet you they're going to get better ratings this year when that girl it's comes back. Oh, definitely yeah. when she comes back. There's definitely For a week when or she. So, yeah, I was going to say it's going to get better. WNBA still. I think when it first came out, I tried to like. Yeah, yeah. But I tried to watch it like when it first came out. I tried to watch a game, and I'm like, this is all just like passing layups. I was like, that you're too used to like the crazy shit. What's the final score? Like 52, 48. Yeah, it's low. It's like it's like you're watching a high school fucking game. Fuck that, dude. Like. Now I'm so good. But yeah. It's just a hard thing to get behind <laughs> as a Thank you. Well, after you're watching the NBA and you'll be like, oh, yeah, I, don't I don't even, like even watch the like NBA. That, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll I watch like to, a finals game. Are, you know, Sixers are in the yeah, fucking yeah. whatever. I'll watch playoff finals. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's I'll like hockey. Check out highlights playoff, and shit. You know, I'll watch yeah. ho- playoff hockey. That's. I don't even watch. I listen to 94 1 every once in a while and they talk about all the sports. And I'll just like get my. That's when I remember everybody hated Ben Simmons just from, just from on there. They, it'd be the the day after a game when Ben Simmons sucked ass. And I actually did watch the one playoff game where he like. Two seconds left. All he had to do was shoot it from inside, make it easiest basket ever, and he like passed kicked it. it back out. Yeah, <laughs> kicked it. Up. I actually watched that happen and thought, <laughs> oh, this is why. They don't like him because that was like going to be the easiest right. points ever. It was like the nicest layup right there. And then the next morning on the radio, they ripped him to shreds. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I felt important. I was like, I saw it. I saw it and I thought that when I watch how like sound, like I said, everything stopped at some point. Like I said, I think when AI played, that was the last time I really was in the best. And I wasn't. I just like I knew he was cool, mm. so I knew I should like the Sixers. <laughs> I never watched basketball like that. It yeah. took me long enough to like get all the way into football. I was just like a passive sports fan was I was a kid because I'm like, I don't know, I didn't really give a fuck. But I used yeah, to watch. I, it. I never really played either. any. Cause, I mean, I played soccer when I was younger, and then but as soon as I started skateboarding, that was like it. But I used to watch yeah. ESPN like every morning. Like I was like, I'm not going out there and play. When they would throw the highlights up, that was, yeah, that was the, the best, best time. time. They like, had like the things at the bottom of the screen yeah. that would go through. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Take, yeah, and then they would just run through it all. Like the ESPN was like every day before school, I made sure I watched it. And then, and then you knew uh, what you were talking about. Yeah. But I didn't even talk about it. It didn't even fucking matter. Right, right, I hung yeah. around with kids that skateboarded. Right. They didn't give a fuck. I stopped playing baseball when I started skateboarding. <laughs> right. And I didn't – I really, I didn't give a fuck about it. Yeah. I would go to my uncle's house to watch football on Sundays with my family because I had to. Right. And there's a pool there. And yeah. I watched some of the right. games. There's probably you know? some food around. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's dip. There's meatballs. Yeah. There's all that shit. Meatball yeah. was there too. <laughs> <laughs> Meatball, meatballs. <laughs> Throwing eggs at you. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that was, like, my extent of it. It took me till pretty much, I don't know, when I started playing fantasy is when I got, like, all the way into, like, all of football. I like the Eagles, and I would pay attention. I would just watch Eagles games. 
now I'll watch any NFL game that's yeah. on because I'm trying to see. That's what's what a lot happening. of people say though. Like with fantasy, like it makes them. You're not even really rooting for your team. You're, you're rooting, rooting for, for players, different yeah, yeah. players. I'm rooting for people teams. on both teams. Right. I'm like, yeah. I'm ready for a good game. Let's go. You yeah. both need to give me points right now. So we're like, I want the Eagles out. to win, but if this guy scores a touchdown, right. give me these <laughs> right. many points. Right. I need something. Yeah, if they're playing, I need to see something from both sides. Make it exciting. All right, boys, let's go. Yeah. I think I watch it more now. Not that I'm in the like, I don't do fantasy or anything, but I've watched more football now for like, like every sport. Like I just have a player that I like, and then when they stop playing, I was done. Like football used to be Barry Sanders. All right. I used to love watching like the fucking. So you crazy. watch the Lions a lot. Yeah. Even though he sucked ass, but he <laughs> yeah, was amazing. But he yeah. was great. So it was like it's the only thing keeping the franchise down, going. And then as he like retires, I'm like, well, I don't really watch football anymore. It's gonna be yeah. like a huge gap in not watching football. And this team really, all the way sucks now. So fuck yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying that like AI played, so I was like, I used to watch the shit out of basketball. And then when he was done, or actually when he went to like. Off Japan the Sixers, right? He went to Turkey or some crazy uh, shit like that, and then I was like, "Well, I'm, I don't care about football. No, no Jordan, yeah. <laughs> no AI. I was like, I can give a shit now, but now see back when Jordan shit, I was never. Yeah, and really. I knew he was awesome. I knew he was cool. Man, basketball just never did it for uh, me. Yeah, I, just I, used never. To, I used to love basketball. But, but like, I never played on like I bet people I did, had Jordans and shit. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I did <laughs> one game, and then I quit playing. Like freshman year, played one game, quit. Cause I was like, I don't want to do all this fucking extra. A lot of running. Like I said, it was. It a, is. Back and forth. Back like, and forth. As soon as I found skateboard, everything was just like. Yeah. Smart. I was like, I want to play fucking basketball. And then I was like, well, now this cuts into all my. I'm not going right. to fucking sit there and lean against the wall for right. 20 minutes when I could be up doing something else. Right. It seems way more fun. But that, yeah. that's like, well, <laughs> Kylie and Bradley wanting to not play sports. And I'm trying to tell Kylie. I'm like, I did. I played baseball up until I was in. What was it? Middle school. I guess right when I, when did you go to Babe Ruth League? Well, uh, it, was, when, it was Little League majors and Babe Ruth. It was all, well, I mean T ball minors. Well, T ball yeah. minors majors Babe, Babe Ruth. Ruth. What was that like? I think sixth seventh grade. It, I think it was around 14, 13, 14. So maybe it was like eighth grade. So maybe I played like first couple of years of middle school. I think I stopped. I think yeah, I was going to remember. In, when I was in high school, I played in high school and Babe Ruth. That was my last year I could do that. So it had to be. So Babe Ruth before started that. before, yeah. Yeah, Babe Ruth started yeah, before. It had to be like eighth grade then? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Probably like. So whenever Babe Ruth was going to start for me, I did not like my coach and I was over it and I had already started skateboarding and that was my out. I'm right. like, I go out every day after school and skate every yeah. day. <laughs> every day. I'm not going to baseball every day, but I'm going right. and riding around the whole fucking town. Yeah. On my skateboard, and they let me have it. But then karate came, and then I had to skateboard and do karate. It was against my will. It was <laughs> the best thing for me, right. though, for yeah. sure. But I think like every kid, every place where like I played soccer all those years. And then when I got like right. close to high school, it was the weirdest fucking coach. Like already, I'm like I'm sitting in eighth grade, and this guy's like coming into the classroom. Are you gonna play? I'm like, oh fuck! Like, leave me the fucking hoop, are you? <laughs> right. Like, why are you coming into my classrooms and shit like that? And then I was like, I'm not playing anymore. And then of course, like I said, I'm. Fucking more more obsessed with skateboarding. But the point now. is that you have you replaced it with something <laughs> right. else. That's yeah. the whole point. And I just that think I'm it's good to anyway. Like for, Kai. I'm like, yeah. if you're not playing soccer, then you're gonna run track, right. or you're gonna play softball, yeah. or you're gonna play basketball, or you're gonna play guitar, or you're gonna right. fuck, you're gonna do something. I just think you're sports. gonna learn how to build tables. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna fucking become a woodworker. <laughs> like I don't whatever yeah. whatever the fuck it is. I just thought, like sports in general. Like kids play at least. You get all your fucking a little athletic. You don't have to continue it, but at least you get some athleticism yeah. in you. You got some fuck whatever balance, Stamina, all this kind of shit. Learn some hand eye coordination. Yeah, like, all that good shit's good and for you. And socialize. Yeah, being yeah. out there with kids and learn how to talk to people, and then making like a, a core group of like you know when you're on a team with somebody, like you see them all the time, and you're on so it, like means something in school. Yeah. Not that you're like the soccer team on Stranger yeah. Things. You know what I mean? Where they're all like <laughs> the football team. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Or basketball, they were basketball. Right? Was it? I, was about Yeah, basketball. But you can definitely tell like difference now for like where kids just staying in video game because like we'll hire like minors that come and you're just like this is the most awkward situation ever. They don't know how to talk to fucking right. people. They can't it do ain't shit. Good. You know? and I'm it's like they just sit there and they just like they're, they don't even work good. And I'm right. like you can't do any like you're, what the right. fuck? And that's it's, what happens. It's so when you weird. Cut that contact <laughs> yeah. with real people. Huh? Yeah, you uh, you were never forced. To go interact with people. Get out there. And that's probably why we talked about, like, we don't see any, like, you don't see skateboarders anymore. Like, we used to be out in, like, 
what, like, groups, like five to ten yeah. people yeah. Like, every day. Yeah, minimum like, three or four. Like I said, I was like go through Woodstown or around here. I was like, you don't see shit anymore. No. I was like, everybody's just in their house. They play games. I was like, well, Man. the men's softball league in Pettertown. We go up and watch it. I don't play. I'm tired after right. work and shit, but. I like to go watch it. I, I used to go way more before married and kids and shit. Right, right. But you go up there now, and I think there's only five teams. And there was this old guy up there watching the other day. And he's like, there used to be 20 teams. <laughs> like a real league type well, deal. Like, yeah, but it's even worse. And the kid, last time Jaden played, it was two teams. They played the same team every day. That's yeah, crazy. Kids, every game. That's just like just at home. Yeah. That's, but that's from kids to adults. Everybody's satiated by fucking screens. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody goes out and usually if if we didn't have computers and all this shit, we probably all would go play softball. Right. <laughs> yeah. We need to get the fuck out of the couple, house. Yeah. <laughs> get me out of the house. You know what I mean? Like we'd still be at the skate park yeah. playing softball or doing some sort of league. <laughs> I'd be fishing more. I'd be doing something. Yeah. You know, because we're, we're we're all our attention is always yeah. taken up by something. That's what I told. Well, like Morgan just started; she's going to do tennis this year. I was like, I'll go out there. I'm, like, I'm not the man at tennis, but I know how to play, so yeah. I'll go. Right. I'll, 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 yeah, hit a ball. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll get it. I'll pretend I'm love. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll get confused a hundred times love. trying to keep score because <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate the scoring in tennis. <laughs> but yeah, they do uh, it by fifteens, right? Yeah, and then and you have well, to be then serving. You hit the certain thing. It's Love or whatever the fuck that is when you're yeah, all tied up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think used to somebody like, has to get an advantage, get a point, and then get yeah. another point. Yeah, know. you got like yeah, your advantage on yeah. that bullshit, and you're, that's crazy. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, I go out there and me. play. Like, it'll get me something to do. You're still doing sports. I was like, yeah. you ain't gotta go professional or not try right, to yeah. do just that. Do something. I already t- that's what yeah. I told her. I said, when you go out there, just know that. There's going to be some girls that started a long time ago, and their parents are rich as shit, and they had coaches and all this yeah. shit. I was like, but it'll be fun. Just, it, you know you're I mean? outside. You're getting sunlight. Mm-hmm. You're getting some little yeah. activity, little exercise. But I won't yeah. be mad if she gets good at it. Cause. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I try to tell Bradley. Like, you can't. He's like, oh, I want to play football. I want to play basketball. I was like, there's kids that have been playing since they were little. Right. And you're trying to get into it right now, yeah. and it's not going to be easy because. Right. And that's the thing Kai don't realize either. Like, you've been playing soccer your whole life. Keep getting better at that. Like, you're already good at it. You know you like it. She's just trying to convince herself that she don't like it. (laughs) Like, she's like... They're them preteens. They're about to be a teenager. Yeah, they're 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 probably was in school. Like, yeah, you play soccer. That's great. They're like, ah, just sits in her head. I got fun of all the time from playing baseball. I got made fun of relentlessly for playing in karate. When I started riding my bike. Yeah. Like, oh, you want to go? We're going yeah, to Philly. You want to go? He's like, I can't. I got baseball. Yeah. Are you stupid? <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Brian and John would be on their skateboards watching me at baseball practice, skating around, doing shit, yeah. leaving. But I'm, <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Like, I want to be out there. Yeah. Fuck. As I always tell I said, as soon as I found that shit, the whole world stopped. Like, yeah. that was it. It was yeah. like, I'm going to get home from school, go out of my skateboard, because mm-hmm. you got to do whatever the fuck you want to do until yeah. it was time to come home. Yeah. Nobody Skate cared. around the whole fucking town. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was like, I was just upset. With my Didn't Nokia you? brick of a phone. <laughs> I had a phone I could call and check in. That's all my parents yeah. cared about. I call and check in every once in a while. Let them know I'm alive. That's like... That's that first when I used to be a kid, it was like once an hour. I'm at Ryan's house. Got call, yeah, yeah. check in, because we'd be riding our bikes around the block and shit. Just check in. I know you're alive. All right. Same thing with the cell. I used to have a pager that I could text from. <laughs> yeah, uh, Damn, really? <laughs> yeah, my dad had this like old pager from work where they could text me. So like instead of them having to send a page, me finding a pay phone call, right. they could go on like the old internet and go on some website. Type in the pager number and send a text message to the pager. Oh, really? It was before I had a cell phone. Damn. So I would be out and get a page like dinner's at 630. Be home by then. And that was like Scroll the, across that screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember when I first got, it was the one that had like all the score, like sports updates on it. The pager yeah. that I had, I was like, oh, that. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much shit our phone does now. It does all I that know, plus. Just think about yeah. it. You're just like, and this was just a green little yeah. green and black mm-hmm. screen on the phone. With the, like the, the, the Radio Boy. Shack yeah. got that shit. <laughs> like even fucking Radio Shack's not even Radio Shack like it used to be. Yeah, it's right. like Radio Dave's Shack computers. used to be the coolest fucking store it, yeah. ever. Had all kinds of crazy. But I went in there and got it. And they were like, you got these. This new one came out. He's like, this thing gives you updates of scores. And I was like, yeah, I need to have that. <laughs> I need to know. Like, how corny that would be now. I'd be like, hold on. 
Better rewatch and scroll through. Hope you don't miss it. <laughs> I saw a video the other day of the old Game Boy camera. Do you oh, remember yeah, yeah, that? Yep. I had and it. And it was that. Printed out that little picture. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like a green background, black pixelated fucking 1D image of yeah. whatever the fuck you took a picture of. Yeah, it was horrible looking. But it's wild yeah. that that it was, was like, like the. Nintendo was way more advanced than it the took, other ones. It transferred a picture. To pixels on a screen, and it had its own and little, then printed. little printer, yeah, yeah. And a little shitty printer. Like watching. that shit is way ahead of its time. It was, but they just didn't have the. And it I would mean, be, they had the green, and yeah. honestly, white pictures. Yeah, so it was yeah. shitty, thinking but. right now, it'd be pretty sweet if you could have like a little thing that's like has the little they do make them. paper cartridge rolled up, and then you hook it to your phone. You can print a picture off of it. Yeah, they do they that. Have, they're expensive though. That would be dope. I yeah, was like thinking Kodak about getting it for her mom right? one day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you could like, just you know, print it out right away. Yeah, because you know how her mom is would take a picture. Yeah. I was like, that's a perfect And she would deal. have it right away. Yeah. yeah. I bought Morgan. Morgan has it at, at the house, but the damn, the refills, like, they want like forty dollars or something. You get like. What do you get? Fucking, ten pictures? Yeah, I was going to say like 10, oh, 12 really? pictures. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, the ink goes like that immediately. You guys still got a uh, film thing at Walmart? Yeah, like the drop off thing. Yeah, they still have a drop off thing. I've never seen anybody. Put, I mean, I'm not over there, so I don't know. Yeah. But they still have the little hole in the thing like where it's like you drop off. Yeah. Don't drop they have off. like photo paper that's like reactive to light and lasers? And don't, it's not like a laser. They don't need ink anymore, right? Isn't there a paper know. that like reacts to lasers and lets a certain color off? Or am yeah, I just what? high? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I mean they might. High, but I'm, I'm sure they it probably don't have sound. To. I feel like there's like a kind of paper <laughs> oh, yeah. and then whatever light. But whatever that, it. like I said, whatever the Kodak thing, we got it for her for Christmas. And then like she printed out all these pictures. She's like, it's dead. And I was like, what? I was like, I'm not fucking going to, you know, I'll buy you more, but I'm not going to keep doing this shit because yeah. it's too expensive. Well, that was but like, like <laughs> the, uh, what was the picture you used to? You, it was like a rectangle camera. Polaroid? And you would take it, and you would pull the thing out, and they were small pictures. And I think oh, they sure. were like stickers, too. It was oh, like a, yeah. it was a Polaroid, yeah. but it was like a mini Polaroid. Yeah. yeah. They have a new Polaroid at Walmart. Yeah. I think like Polaroid came, they came back with it. I mean, everybody, you know, how they retro bullshit yeah. comes out. But they do look a little bit, like the pictures look a little better than they used to, but it's still same thing. 10, 10 pictures and you got to pay like 30, 20, 20, 30 bucks or something like that for the damn refill for, I was like, that shit don't seem worth it. I have a uh, disposable camera that was that much. Oh, the one where you actually add the film to it? And no, like a one where you don't do nothing. You buy it when it yeah, runs to the yeah, end. You take the whole in. camera yeah, to the thing. Yeah, because yeah, they'll take it I apart. I got one in a junk drawer that was at my shop in Pettertown. Is it? You should probably get it. Yeah, you should. To fucking see. Take it to John's. There ain't nobody doing it. Yeah, <laughs> but they got the little There's drop. Probably pictures of Ulysses on there. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't know what kind of pictures. Come <laughs> <be. laughs> on, just drop it off. Yeah, get it done. I gotta do that discreetly. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, it, it was like in a box upstairs in my shop when I was like leaving. Yeah, I wonder what the fuck yeah, is on yeah, there. You should yeah. definitely get it developed. Because that's from. I don't know. When you worked with Vern, right? Yeah. Like when you had your own little... So like 2011, 12, 13, 14, probably in that yeah, time range. some funny... I mean, I remember yeah. finding a box of pictures, but I was at like... That's uh, over 10 years ago. <laughs> went to like yeah. prom and then like the after party. Like we got a... Because ho- I was... I went with a girl that was in high school. But I was already out of high school. So, of course, I can get, like, hotel rooms. We had, like, a party. And I saw oh, pictures of, like, me jumping on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait, what? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I had, like, camo shorts on, like, in air in the bed, like, in a hotel. I was like, we probably fucked that hotel up. <laughs> I don't even remember. But I was just like, the picture was hilarious. Because I was like, oh, shit, this is in here? Like, I don't even remember who took the picture or anything. But it's funny. Yeah, so you probably got good-ass shit in there. There Especially has to be, yeah. <laughs> just fucking shenanigans dude <laughs> shenanigans yeah i've had three dreams about ulysses in the past two weeks oh really it they're every one of them he's like in some normal job he was an electrician in like one of the buckets in one but the inside oh, of the oh, bucket yeah, yeah. was like a giant glass bowl not so you could like see through it you could see through the thing but it was inside the white bucket it was like a big cereal bowl it was so weird. And then the one, I went outside, and my raised bed gardens were all lifted up like this. And all the roots were hanging out. <laughs> like they were like leaned all the way up. Mm-hmm. And they were digging shit out from underneath of the gardens. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And Ulysses walked up to me, calm as ever. Like, don't worry, man. 
they got to do this or whatever, and then they'll put the gardens back, and everything's going to be fine. And I'm like, all right, sounds good, but what? And it was like, it was so weird, but they, they've all been like him, like, it seems like it was like, oh, so weird. Like the entrail to something that didn't happen. Yeah. Like something, a path that could have been taken right. <laughs> or was taken in some fucking dimension or whatever. And that was like a glimpse into one of them, like, this is one of the things that could have been or is somewhere else right now. Like, I feel like I got like a little window into that. It was yeah. weird. How has it been a year yet or over a year? It has to have been. I remember it was like during the pandemic. Cause I remember didn't Phil get COVID or something like that. And he was supposed to go to the funeral. Yeah. It's definitely been over a year. I think I block out them dates Yeah. to him and Keith thing. <clears throat> I just, I know Keith's in July. I honestly forget the month free list. Yeah, I feel bad now, but I just like blank it out. Yeah, it's weird. But that's when I have them dreams. I wake up and it feel. I'm like, oh yeah, I just saw you listening. I'm like, oh fuck. Mm-hmm. It's fucking wild. Yeah, it is. I met him a few times, and I remember one one time we worked at Walmart for the security for a Black Friday. He he always did security. Jobs. He did it at um when Phillies were in the um World Series. Really? <laughs> he did it for oh, Citizens that's Bank. Awesome. I just remember Black Friday shop because I met him at like parties before. Yeah, like, yeah. With you or whatever. And then one day I was just like, he Black did Friday. Walmart he was just standing up there. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, security for a night. I was like, cool man, all right, have fun. He's shit, he but he job. Yeah, his dad and shit. You have that there. security job yeah. to hook up. Oh, was that did? <laughs> yeah, his dad used to do them all too. I think that's how he had the end for that. Because oh, I remember he used to confiscate third grade so many drugs. Teacher, <laughs> I could not stand him. Yeah, nobody, everybody hated Mr. Ulysses. Remember, he, there was a story of him throwing some kid's shoe out the window. <laughs> kid was bad, and he took his shoe and threw it out the window. <laughs> Guess it could have been worse. We were on vacation. We were talking. I used to have a uh, like a history, social studies, whatever it used to be called, like mm-hmm. teacher, and he would like fucking like abused the shit out of you while you were in there but like you learned everything yeah. but he had like this kid was i was telling my sister about it because she had him too i was like you this guy would not exist like now yeah he'd been fucking yeah. sued fired everything but this dude was talking like he was talking about uh george washington like the snowstorm like fighting through the snowstorm and this kid in the class was like he was like it can't be that hard this dude like teacher grows there and grabs him and he's like get up the front of the class and he like blindfolds him and then literally like kicks him into this and he's like walk this to the, is <laughs> he's like kicks him and he's like walk to the back of the class he can't see so he's like running on the desk he was like he was like is that fucking hard to you like he was mad about it i was like yeah that teacher would not he would have made it one day somebody would have sued the shit out of the school like all that shit would happen but he like you learned everything in there like he would get fucking pissed about shit like you learned every damn like whatever yeah. he told you like coming in tomorrow you better know like like 20 of the states in there. And like uh, their capitals like we would learn all that shit yeah. he'd be like you better know these tomorrow and you would learn that shit cause you didn't want to get like none that dude was so kicked yeah like he was so mad about shit dude, what but teacher was, was this uh, his name was Mr. McKay what school was this Woodstown right? oh Woodstown, yeah, Woodstown right. yeah like 7th seventh, seventh or 8th grade I think. gotcha something like that but yeah he was great but I was like it all stuck in your head cause you were like scared of shit that he was gonna call you out and then you yeah. get fucking embarrassed but I was like yeah that shit would not exist they'd be like I'm not doing anything I'm going to sue the fuck out of the school. Yeah. <laughs> and you're fired. So that would happen. Everybody had their phones <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. They would have been so this video, done. this video. Yeah. But like she remembered them and she was like, she was like, yeah, you used to like, like people would be walking by in the school and they'd like wave through the door. He would hurry up, open the door and grab them and pull them into the classroom. And shit. Really? Yeah. And she was like, yeah, he was a mess. But he was like, you did learn everything. I was like, yeah, I'm just saying that shit. We had wouldn't. Mr. Agri who used to call us all asinine. All <laughs> I remember that. And Kelsey's mom. Finally, when, because I remember him first starting to say it, you guys are all being asinine. He always said and I didn't asinine. know what I it just meant. Heard ass. In se- in seventh grade, I'm like, that's a good yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck's that mean? You just ass in it? We're allowed to say it? Right. You're calling us asinine? <laughs> I remember Kelsey's mom fucking lit him up. Call my daughter, or any of her friends, asinine again. I'll fucking come. <laughs> she fucking laid into him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Egri was wild. He was wild. We had a back to school night one night, and his daughter came in in the middle of the back to school night with all the parents there. Daddy, daddy, I pooped in my pants. No. <laughs> Damn. He's like, Don't be asking. He's like, go Get to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> there was this one dude. Uh, 
He came up and like brought him up to the desk, and they were like looking at something. And he like grabbed Mr. Edgar like on his shoulder. He grabbed that dude, put his arm behind his back, and threw him up against the chalkboard. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I had to go to the office like and, and explain. Testify. Yeah, because they called me. And I was like, why? It was like a couple of days later. I was like, I don't know why I'm going to the office. They're like, oh, you were in there during the incident of this. I was like, oh yeah. It was like, and then I had to tell what happened, and he wrote it down. <laughs> Mr. Edgar used to divulge some shit to us, dude. I remember him telling us about a breakdown he had one time, and he burnt all of his possessions. <laughs> oh, I remember you telling me that. He was like, I burnt everything I owned of any, all pictures of anything in my past. It's all gone. I burnt it all. It's like, what? I'm in seventh <laughs> grade, yeah. like. I bet that dude's fucked what up the right fuck? now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. He's still alive. I'm just like thinking about who this guy is as a real person. Not let alone a teacher. <laughs> the, he's like, one time, I pulled up to my house. For some reason, I know that he had a used car dealership right next to him. I think it matters because he said he pulled up to his house <laughs> and his two daughters were on the balcony dancing naked. While the people from the used car lot are like driving cars off it. He said he pulled up like. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is still a story that a teacher's telling me right. when I was in seventh grade. <laughs> this is what he's telling us about, dude. This dude had a rough shit going on. <laughs> Whatever period of time he was teaching us, there was some shit yeah. going on. And now I think I remember him not being there after that. And you remember Mr. Fleckenstein? Mm -mm. Mr. Fleckenstein looked like how you pictured he would look. <laughs> Whatever you're picturing, it's pretty close, <laughs> I'm sure. Pale, like Frankenstein pale glasses. No, this right. dude got fucked with. And then he's subbing long term for Mr. Agri. Well, we're in eighth grade. Mr. Agri was seventh grade. Eighth grade comes, Mr. Agri ain't around. I'm thinking about this more right now. Mr. Agri definitely has some shit going on because he <laughs> definitely wasn't there in eighth grade. And the <laughs> class that Fleckenstein was fucking subbing for got him so worked up that he cussed them all out and just walked the fuck out of the fucking classroom. Because I think he was going to start <laughs> talking. It's funny shit thinking about like we had like eighth grade you did um where you would take like languages but you only did like the one like marking period or whatever of it. I think we only had to do that in high school. <coughs> so no, we did eighth grade I had to take Spanish, it was the first time and it yeah. was Miss Miss Seaman. We yeah, we did <laughs> But we had one and I always think about like now, like she was probably she probably ended up being one of those teachers that slept with students. Miss Seaman. So she was like a, she was like, like so. she was like, uh, I don't know what she was, but she was like Puerto Rican, something like something like that. Yeah. Like, so, but I used to wear all these like hip hop like t-shirts in there. She was always like, oh, that's so cool. You should stay after. Like, if you have time, come out. Like, we'll talk. Like, I like public, like, I had public enemy shit. She was like, oh, I listen to them too. And I was always like, that's weird. I'm not staying after school. Who the yeah. fuck was that? And then all of a sudden, like, you get older, you start seeing all these like teacher slept with like students. I'm like, yeah. I probably could have slept with a but teacher way she back then. <laughs> like, yeah, I had oh, a public eight in a long time ago. Or like, eighth grade, thug, yeah. so I wasn't thinking about that shit. Like, I never knew that yeah. thing existed. Like, teacher would sleep with you. I was like, yeah, that's probably, that bitch is probably in jail right now because she was trying, I think, back not then. Not if all them kids kept their mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not yeah. how it works. Maybe back then, they probably could have got away with some yeah. shit. But. <laughs> they were weren't they talking about that on Schultz? And, was that Schultz and Rogan? <laughs> yeah. Just there was like, when you get Bro, mad. You got, who, who told their mom? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Who the fuck went home and told their mom? It could have been a legend, bro. Yeah, because I remember there was one <coughs> on uh, the fighter and the kid. They always do one. And it was like the mom <coughs> went through a Snapchat and found one from the teacher, like a nude from the teacher. And that's how they... The one girl got When they showed the picture, I'm like, yeah, damn, what teachers they have? Cause, I know. Like, that teacher was, like, hot for whatever you want. I couldn't even remember what she looks like now. There I was just, a few hot teachers. But I yeah, never Miss Seaman, did you have her? She was a Spanish teacher remember. in middle school. You might, See, I think you – what year did you graduate? 03 or 04? 03. Oh, I think sure. I'm two years ahead, right? So, when we – we had to take it in eighth grade. I was already in high you school. You were already in tenth yeah. grade. So, you weren't even there for her. She had the accent and everything. Right. And yeah. I'm like, this is okay. <laughs> okay. 
I can see why this works. But there was her, and then there was Miss Hogan. Do you have her? Oh, yeah, I had Miss Hogan. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Miss Hogan. One, uh, she lived. And she used to fuck with. I had Mark Santagrossi and Joe Winkles. Or not Joe. Or Mark Santagrossi and who's the. He's dead. Mark Wibbins. He's dead, too. Yeah. They were both in there. And I remember them being seniors and not giving a fuck about that class and her not giving a fuck that they didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And it was like an interesting class to be in. I I don't know if I was in, it wasn't study hall. For some reason I had like all my credits early and I was in like the dumb fucking math class. Yeah. (laughs) Not the, I had that my senior year. I was in, (laughs) not that I had, (laughs) because I barely made it out, (laughs) but I had, they like, I think they made it. It was a class just for like people People that needed to pass math. You didn't go through it. It was called senior math. And that was the one that me and this, and I actually had like, a guy that worked for me, his uncle was in the class with me, and we fuck with the teacher so bad. And he was like, "My uncle's, blah, blah blah." And I'm like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "Yeah, let me tell you, your uncle and I used to fuck with this teacher to the point like I thought she was gonna be in tears every day. Like we broke her. Here's the one I told you before we broke her computer and yeah. shit. Holy shit, maybe we fucked with her. I remember you were and talking was, about senior math yeah, at one time. It was like senior day. Like I was like, I don't even think it exists. But I was like, that was for all of us kids that give me the fuck. Like I'm not doing geometry. Like oh, whatever, I was whatever the fuck junior, algebra. Like three and I got years out of pre calc. Cause I had taken, I got fucked, dude. So in middle school, I took geom or er, algebra, right? So I had. Now you're fucked, then, yeah. Cause yeah. <laughs> you had to keep moving. Listen, up then. seventh seventh grade, I had Mr. Constani for fucking pre-algebra. Then I had algebra in eighth grade with Miss Whitney, who was wild. Miss Whitney played the Prince album backwards for us that said uh, how are you i am fine because i found god she's yeah. playing that shit for us spinning the record backwards in the class I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> then so when i got to fucking high school freshman year algebra two i'm like that's funny shit i was taking pre-algebra 10th freshman. grade <laughs> yeah. 10th grade geometry and i'm yeah. like all right i could do that was mr and michael fun class funny did whatever. you get that I got a couple dots. <laughs> just like two. I think I only got two. I just two. remember it. Like, I never had them, but I remember. I got one because one time dot. Katrina forgot her book, and I let her use my book, and I took the dot. I took a, I took one for the team and got the dot. <laughs> and the other one was some bullshit, I think. I used to talk to Kim Wei Lu and Wei Mei Lu. I had to sp- or the Chinese kids in my yeah. in my geometry class, and they were cool. And they could spin fucking pencils through their fingers. Like, <laughs> like drumsticks? <laughs> It was wild. It would go uh-huh. brr, 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 the ones would... that owns, owns the uh, yeah. Chinese restaurant. Yeah, so they were <laughs> really? in my geometry yeah, class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think I would get in trouble. They had the craziest calculators back then. They had the wildest, like <laughs> you know, you got them graphing calculators, yeah. and they're yeah. like, you're like, wow, this is a lot of shit this thing could do. Their calculators were fucking serious. Like they could probably text messages from their fucking calculators <laughs> back then. And so then, eleventh grade. They gave me pre-calc. And I was like... Yeah, I had to worry about all that. I got like... Oh, no, they tried to give it to me. This is what it was. They tried to give me geometry, first semester of 10th grade, and pre-calc, second semester of 10th grade. And I was like, nah. I just (laughs) finished math. I'm done math for the year. Give me a dumb math class. (laughs) I'm not doing this shit. I did take pre-calc the next year, though. And I got a C in it. And it was the lowest I ever got in math. And I felt like shit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I used to be so excited. Me and Joe Andre struggled in pre-calc. I was in there with all the smart people. I would have never been. I was like, because well, at first it was second half of tenth grade, so they had me in there with a bunch of people I didn't even know. I was in there with all the the old the eleventh and twelfth graders. I'm like, I don't know any of these fucking people. That was, and I suck at this. So like, get me out of here. Right. Yeah. And then the next year, I was in there with all the smart people from my class, and I was like. Smarter than me, yeah. Because <laughs> this is hard. That Pre-calc was, weird, was the first one yeah. I was really fucking like hard. That. My yeah. parents used to get so mad because I'd I'd be failing, then all of a sudden I'd do like the work, bring it up to like a D or C. And like, just you to know pass. what it yep. is. And they would just be like, "God damn! Like why can't you just do it?" And I was like, yeah. "I don't want it. Like I'm not gonna do homework. I'm not doing. It. Like I would completely be down to F and then bring it up to like a D or See, C. I could never. And they would do get that. so fucking mad. I could at me. not, dude. If I had bad grades, I couldn't do it. I needed good grades. It was like a. It yeah, ate away. Yeah. I guess I've had it my whole life because I had I, it ate at me. I had to be on honor roll. If I didn't get honor roll, like it was fucking so up. Yeah, by the time I, because my sister was like the she, all A Bs. So what, like freshman year, and I got there, and they're like, they're like, you know, I'm fucking up already. See, so freshman year hit, I'm already acting like a fucking fool, and they're like, 
you're Ashley's brother? I was yeah. like an AB student. Like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck's up with you? He's like, like no, nah, she got the smarts. I'm yeah, yeah. like, I don't give a shit. No, but, you got but, yeah, you I got them. I just them. didn't give yeah. a shit about, like, uh, doing it. And doing it. Like, I had to just so I didn't, like, I wanted to keep moving up with my class because I didn't want to stay back or something. Then right, I wanted yeah. to go do it. And when they would get so mad, they'd be like, what the fuck, man? Like, you can go <laughs> yeah. turn into A paper, but you're going to turn in F's all until it's time to start turning yeah. eight papers or whatever i'm like you get that little interim report or thing you're like it was in the mail we used to get them and yeah. like, you're down to like a d or an f or something like that i'm like all right i'm gonna start doing some work get it up to like like i said a, a c or whatever i had to do to pass and i'll back to the next market period f <laughs> i'll just yeah. get so pissed it's crazy now they could just look online like oh he's missing yeah. this and this and this I don't know what the fuck my yeah. grade was till the end of the year. Yeah, <laughs> remember said, we, they would hand out. Keep uh, guessing. We got, we got the mid like the because it was the mark whole marking period. And then we we would get something in the mail, and I would always get them out of the mail. Yeah, <laughs> and then I had like a. Stack. I could never get yeah. home early enough. Yeah. I was always. I thought they the teacher would give them to you. The our interim reports you used to get mail. Oh, yeah. It yeah. depends on the reports. I forgot about yeah, them. We got them. Yeah. My parents didn't get home till like five, so I already I got home. I got all the mail all the time. <laughs> I think at some point yeah, by the time I graduated, I had like a box, like a shoe box that had just piles <laughs> of them shits in there, and I would show like after that. See, I think Martin I was Gurd. scared to do that. I think I was scared to fucking hide it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I gotta do good because I can't hide yeah. this shit. I used to just hide it because I knew like. Like I said, skateboard, and that was it. And that was the first fucking thing. They didn't give a shit out. Like, go watch TV. But they knew that all I cared about was leaving yeah. the house to go to skateboard. So if I got in trouble or if they did find out something, like a phone. I remember one time I, like, skipped school for, like, two days in a row or something like that. They got a phone call. And I didn't, yeah. didn't even think about, like, I was like, I thought I checked the answer machine, but they left it on there. Like, everything, whatever they do, like, the little check-in thing. They took that damn skateboard. I was fucking ruined. I was like, ah. <laughs> so then I knew after that, like, all right, anything to get you in trouble, you got to fucking get ahead of it or yeah. whatever. Yeah, but then there's cumulative <laughs> trouble, and that's even worse. That's where my head goes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't give a shit. I was just trying to be like, I'm not getting grounded for like two yeah, weeks back or whatever then, the fuck no it was. Foresight. Yeah. <laughs> no foresight. So I was like, whenever these things come out, getting home, throwing them in this shoebox. <laughs> not letting them I like you still shit. kept them, though. Yeah, you didn't thought, just throw it in the shredder the whole, or the, nope. so cut it up or nothing? Senior year, I had, like, a whole shoebox of it. I think I showed him after I, like, was done, like, grew up or whatever. Like, by the time senior year was over, made it out. <laughs> on I made time. it out. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> made did it out it. on time, and I was like, I had all these in yeah. here and all that shit. <laughs> That's funny. School sucked out, but I do miss it sometimes. Or <laughs> you got to go to somewhere and go see all your fucking friends. Yeah. I don't want to do all the work, but yeah, <laughs> that part was fun. Socializing. Back mm-hmm. to why kids need to be in shit like that. Right. Yeah. You need to be around other people. That's what I was going to say earlier. Like, I think we came up at the perfect time because, like, I still wanted to go outside yeah. and ride my bike, but at the end of the night, like, I would play video games. Like, you, you gotta, when there's nothing else to do. <laughs> right. But you now it seems like first. that's what's to do if there's no <laughs> yeah, video that, game. Yeah, the like, extra shit time. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's online. All right, I guess I'll go outside. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it seems like now. Yeah, like sucks. when I gave Bradley the skateboard, I was like, "That's cool." And I was like, yeah. "He's not really going to use it." Like he's he used it the it. first time. Yeah. And then I was like, "It's just." They'd rather watch people I'm not on using it, so <laughs> YouTube but, skate. Yeah, it was just funny as shit. Yeah, that was ours. Like you learned some technology when you didn't have shit to do. Yeah. <laughs> and now, like technology, like speaking you of learn that technology shit. and kids, I heard like a weird thing today that some group is making Congress pass a bill saying. Basically, that metaverse can't control everything the way like Instagram and YouTube and all them all control that shit. They're saying so like Mark Zuckerberg's all in on metaverse. This is what he thinks the future looks like. Everybody's on that more time than they're outside. Then they're doing all this other shit. And at that point, they run that metaverse, have the marketplace in there, have all this stuff. So this thing that they're trying to do makes it. So they can't have a monopoly right. over all that shit because it seems like that's the direction it would yeah. go. If yeah. you look at Google and YouTube are the same thing. Right. They're the, 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 the number one search engine, the number one fucking video, video thing, whatever. Yeah. They're all owned by the same shit. And then Facebook and Instagram, it's all... So like whatever that metaverse thing is, is the the way the, the Facebook and Instagram model is just going to be like incorporated in to 
the overall meta right. so you're just going there you watch. log in with yeah. that and when you're in there do you want to scroll through this feed do you want right, to scroll right. through this feed do you want to play this yeah, game pretty much do you living in the meta buy like this go to your house yep. go to your fucking whatever yep. get on your yacht do all the shit while you're fucking zonked out <laughs> plug in the back of your head you know but they're at least starting to try to have the foresight and it's just some random group that's come together and gotten some clout and it's starting to be able to get you. I think I've seen that too. It's, I forget it's not it was like on. our established yeah. old fucking yeah. Q-tip be politicians. Like all the company is already <clears throat> well in bed. Like Nike already has like the NFTs on Metaverse that you can get all yeah. this shit. Like virtual whatever the fuck it is yeah. that you use. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. So they're trying so, to make it so yeah. Google, Google, Facebook, all that can't just like right. rule it all. Rule the fucking world when that shit happens. Cause shit's gonna start getting weird. Yeah. I'm watching Westworld and it's making me realize that <laughs> shit's gonna get even weirder. Oh, Westworld, dude. Westworld threw me for a loop last night. I'm let me, watching. Let me run the bit. Fuck. I've never. I always hear people talk about. It. I'm oh just my like, I'm, God, dude. I don't pay attention enough to shows. So All right, like, well, I'm then, if you don't lost. mind a little bit of whatever. No. At the last episode, there's. They got this like pharaoh fluid. All right, so. They got this part. They got all these robots. You can't distinguish right. among other real people, right? A couple of them start to realize, like, something's weird. And they come to life, whatever. Break out of the park. Now that two main ones are broken out of the park, they're each doing separate shit. We come to the point where it's 25 years in the future farther than they already were. And the robots are taking maggots... And feeding them this like ferro fluid looking shit. You know what ferro fluid is? Like that <laughs> black fluid where if you like push it, it all like moves. Okay. It's like a, yeah, yeah. So it looks like that. And they're like feeding these maggots this shit, turn them into flies. And then these flies are attracted to humans. And the flies get into the humans through their eyes and their ears right. and all that shit. But the fluid in the flies makes it so that the robots can send out a certain frequency that makes the flies do whatever they want. So once them flies are in the people, they can like make the people kill themselves if they want to. They can make them do whatever the fuck they want based on this frequency that they're playing that makes the flies do whatever. I'll never make it through that show. Oh my <laughs> god! So then it's that they start infecting all these yeah, people normal. with fucking. Yeah. I'm good, and I'm like, oh man, I see. <laughs> I can see everything they do. I can like see it going there. In, you know, 25 years, like how fucking weird it's going to yeah. be. And it's like one lady that's the robot, one of the robots that got out and fucking whatever is in charge of the big company that's equivalent to Facebook, Google, YouTube, whatever it is in 25 years that owns this giant ball that was like an algorithm that chose your life for you based on what your life should be. And, oh man, it gets in my, fu <laughs> I'm watching this. Ashley's asleep next to me. I'm all high laying in bed like, oh no. No, maybe that's what I would have to do. They're coming like, on a normal basis. I'd be like, turn that on and be like, I know you got to be this. high, yeah, and you got to get into the zone, <laughs> and you got to accept some things and go, yeah, this could happen. This is, this is plausible. Yeah, maybe that's what I. You got to give in. <laughs> I was telling Brad, I'd say, because you said you were high watching. What the fuck were you watching? The Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker. <laughs> I, I said I was. I watched uh, HBO Max has Lone Survivor on there. I already seen this fucking movie like at least three times all right i was so high the other day and i watch it and like right when um they get caught up in it you seen it no what's the oh, shit shit what's mark, mark Warburg. Warburg. it's like a true story uh, right. that happened yeah. all right. so they're trying to kill this uh dude from the taliban or whatever all right so what was it four three or four four of them yeah. four of them's up and that's it they're just four people on this mission anyway they're like sleeping in the woods basically underneath these trees where these people are like walking goats through all right so mark Wahlberg like slowly moves his foot out of the way because he's about to get stepped on. Dude steps on him. All right. So basically they have like a situation they're like, do we just tie these people up and leave them here? Do we shoot them? Right. And they're like, and do, like Mark's like, we can't shoot them because this shit will be on the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, Americans are horrible, this, that, and the other. So they end up like letting them go. And I'm so high, I'm talking like, just fucking shoot them. Just shoot them. I'm like, I already, I'm, like, I'm so high, like I already know what's going to happen. I've seen this fucking movie. It was just so funny because I'm talking like watching it by myself and I'm talking, talking out loud to, to yourself. It. Yeah. yeah I oh, so, I talk to myself more than I'd like that, to admit yeah. in bed. But that shit is like, that movie, if you watch it, that shit, it's on HBO Max. You All got right. it. It is so fucking intense. Like, it's yeah. ridiculous. Like, 
It's really, but it's a true story, which makes it even like you start thinking about What's it. What's it called? Fuck, uh, Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor. All right. Yeah, fucking just watch it. But yeah, it was so funny because I like seen it three fucking times and I'm still <laughs> yelling at him like, "Let's fucking shoot him!" And like, I know he's not gonna shoot him. Like, it was funny because I ruined that for you, but he's not gonna shoot him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Well, if he did, there wouldn't have been a movie. I don't think, right? Isn't that like one of the big <laughs> Lone Survivor? True. He's the only one left. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> figure all that shit out too but it's real good and then like the fact that and the dude's in it too the real guy that survives yeah. oh, maybe really? a couple times he's in there That's they're cool. navy seals right yeah but it's a cool like it'll get you <laughs> like yeah. I, I fucking still get all bummed out when it's over with i'm like, <laughs> like damn it's cool man <laughs> let me not cry about this shit i've seen it like three times and like, you're all high by yourself yeah. you might shed a tear you know like ah oh, fuck oh, i still get it like i can feel it like yeah. I just fucking don't overthink this swallow stuff. swallow yep. the spit yeah. get it out of there get them thoughts out of your fucking head <laughs> Be a man. Yeah, yeah. Be a fucking man. Yeah. Don't let that tear drop. It's too funny. You Did you watch that fucking... I know you haven't watched it, but Trisha tried to get you to watch Virgin River, right? No, I'm not watching I'm, it. I know. <laughs> Hear me out. Oh, okay. Funny. <laughs> Ashley knows I don't watch it, right? And I get done working, whatever. She's watching it when I get in bed one night. <laughs> you know, she will never smoke or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, She's watching it, and that's her shit, dude. That's it's like a lifetime slash, whatever Walmart, the fuck yeah. it is. I've yeah, seen it's like a, like Trish has been watching. I'm yeah, sitting there watching. Her and Jesse and Ashley, all they all that's you know cool. Watch it. But Ashley hit the joint once or twice, and we're watching this shit. And this dude goes to talk to this other dude at his job at a construction site, right? And they're talking about some serious shit. How could you do this? And I did this because. Man, I just was in this place, and you know, and they they get they come to their conclusion or whatever, but the guy's still not satisfied at the end. And before he walks away, he just punches this chain. There's like a chain hanging from like a fucking backhoe or something. He punches this chain and walks away. And I'm thinking like that was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen <laughs> on a show ever. Like this dude's showing emotion so terrible. And then he did some other scene too. Forget what the fuck it was about. Cause I let her finish her episode. You know, I get in bed, I fucking. Smoking my joint, letting the episode finish. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is some of the worst acting I've ever seen. This storyline <laughs> sucks. Netflix, right? yeah. Yeah, 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 I think I've seen it. It's like number one trending now. Sucks, yeah. predictable, right. whatever. But it's it's easy to watch. There's, it's, you know, there's right. no, it's not you too get, much. You don't, you don't have to. We don't got to rewind right. it. Right. You don't got to pause it, rewind out. it. Right. You can tell what's going on. You don't have to fucking yeah. catch every line. It's not, you don't. Westworld, you can't miss that's a word. Said, that's why I you said can't I miss a sit fucking down. word. I have <laughs> subtitles on. I'm trying to see what the fuck's going on, right? <laughs> this one, it ain't like that. But the funny thing is that by, <laughs> I don't know if it was later that night or the next morning or, or the next night it's on. I'm like, yo, that dude punching that chain was too much. <laughs> She's like, yeah, and when I watch it when I'm not high, I don't notice shit like that. And then I hit your joint, and all I thought was like, how <laughs> dumb is that, yeah. this? <laughs> shit actually was high, realizing that the show sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what am I watching? Oh, I thought you were going to have a story like telling me, like, oh, it was pretty good. No, you watch no, it. no. He's I, like, no, here's Just the difference yeah, of watching shit yeah. when you're high and then be like, yeah, hey, this, like, the story is Ashley was all into this <laughs> show and then I got her high one night and she's watching it like. <laughs> this kind of sucks. What the fuck? <laughs> That's how it was. Like the, that damn movie. Like, like I said, I already seen it, so I know everything is happening. Yeah. I'm sitting on the couch like this. <laughs> it's like, coming. Uh, it's coming. Like, yeah, I can't even go pee because I gotta see what happens. Like, bitch, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, shoot him. <laughs> the, like the scene in The Revenant when Leonardo DiCaprio gets fucked up by the bear. Mm-hmm. That's like such a. Right. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine getting pummeled like that. But but every time I watch it, and the same thing. Like if I got a piss, I'm like, I can't get up right, right. now. I'll wait till the next commercial or whatever the fuck's happening. Or the next. That's such a good movie. Yeah, there's there's yeah, some good movies. Good. Like like I said, Moneyball. We always talk about like I could watch that. I love Moneyball. Anytime I've only really seen that once back in the day. I know I liked it. Yeah. But I never rewatched it. I'm it's good like that. I've rewatched yeah. it many times. I really? don't even play, never played baseball. <laughs> never did. And I'm like, with, yo, it's like so. baseball movies. Like most of them, you name a baseball movie, it's a good yeah. movie <laughs> for the most Angels part. Angels in the fucking outfield. <laughs> well, everybody Great loved that movie, growing dude. up. Rookie I used of the to year. love that movie. Rookie of the Pitchers got a big butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to fucking play both of them movies. But yeah, it's like one of them ones. Like, and then Major League so School good. when you get older. I didn't. Major League when, Two was better, I think. See, I, I've only seen them. I only have 
memories of Me the too. kid I, watching I, it, like I not watched, really understanding I mean, some of the jokes. Sure I, what have they made? Way too many of them, I'm sure. But sure, I, I, I remember, remember the well, first one. One, two, and then they went major league back to the minors. Uh, okay, no, I think I it was only it. like one dude yeah, that yeah, was yeah. still in it. I couldn't tell you anything. I remember like the first one because he got like the glasses or whatever. Those things are lucky if I watch a sequel. The second one was the better one. Okay, those things are lucky if I watch a sequel. I'm not watching a third of anything for the most part. I don't know a third of anything that's good. Yeah, I've heard. I, don't know, I, know. I haven't watched them, but I heard that third. I mean, like, the Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. Never seen the Star Wars. No, like John Wick. They said I've never all seen those Lord of the Rings. Either. Yeah, I haven't either. But I know there's like three of them. Yeah. Like you Jurassic like Star Park. Wars. Yeah, the I've seen the first ones. two Star or first two Jurassic Parks. Never the very them. first one was the best so, one. Yeah, I still think. Yeah, like even and the next one's okay, and I had no interest to see the third one based on the second one. Yeah. I guess. I and watched. that was like I think I've seen like, uh, what's his name? Was it Spielberg? Was yeah, it, uh, in Jurassic the beginning, Park? Yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park was yeah, Spielberg. Somebody, I don't know if it still is. Yeah, the second one, somebody seen Vince Vaughn. I think, I think that's You think he's he still putting his name on that? I don't know. Yeah, I would feel like yes. I don't know. But I remember Maybe. reading, like, for the first one, he was like, because uh, like, right like, still, the CGI but. was out, but he didn't want to use it, so he still did but like, it was, all the But they looked better than CGI in the first one. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then it was the first one looked better in the very first one than... And that's all whatever robotics. they did. That's oh, all puppets. really? They yeah. were all robotics and yeah. like robotics oh, and that puppets. That is why it deals. looks better. Yeah, because it's really there. It's really there. <laughs> but he fought it because he was like, "This oh, is already wow. out," and everybody's like, "We could speed this whole process up." We CGI, and he was like, oh, "I don't God, want to." God, I wish like, they still did that. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the like the second one come out, and there's like scenes where they're like running along, and you're just like, "That's just you're no, spending all these millions of dollars on these movies anyway. Fucking build it." That's how all the old horror movies were, like Guillermo del Toro movies, where he actually did the movie make up on these things it's so much more believable when you see that shit when you know that's like uh, and they do those time lapses remember them movies where they do they they did it with a little more hair a little more hair and you're like yeah that's so because I know how they do that yeah Yeah. Yeah. do it for a second turn it off yeah do a little more do it for a second we used to do stop motion shit with fucking my sisters Uh, (laughs) my sisters used to have doll houses and fucking Barbies and dolls and shit (laughs) and we would do the most fucked up stop motion videos where they would crash through the house with the car and fly <laughs> through the windows and like do it. And we would, you, you film it for a second, turn it off, move it a little bit, film it, turn it off, move it a little bit. It would take hours. Yeah. That's what we would do. And you download like some free GIF animator and just throw it all in a row and just hit play. And it would, well, play. no, I'm talking about, we did this. This was no editors. This was like one of the first video cameras I had. Oh, and we would just do it. With it. <laughs> yeah. Record, stop, move it. Record, stop. And if we fucked up, you got to rewind and pause it at the end at of the, the good yeah. one. And then keep going. That's and we would just... Fun of that's being way old. more. And then we that. would just upload it. John had this shit to upload it to the computer when you were done. But we would get it all good yeah. running on the on the tape. And then fucking upload it later. That's funny as shit. I yeah. Used to, like, they were so funny, I was dude. born, like, you know... Cassette tapes and shit like that. Yeah. So I had like rap songs, and I would like when I was going to make like a mixtape. So you had a double side. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So I would like try to find a song to end it with this one. It yeah. would take forever to make some like 30 minute yeah. mixtape yeah. of like songs just because I wanted it to sound good. Like yeah, the you next wanted song. to fucking. And I was yeah. like, yeah, I've spent so much time on some shit. Yeah, tapes you'd have that. a. My thing had a CD player at the top. Yeah, had that's what I had. AM it FM radio yeah. and then two tape decks. Yeah, yep. and you would fucking yeah, cue up your CD yep. and be ready. Because you didn't have a You'd have uh, to, CD Walkman yet. You still had your tape. So you wanted yeah. to take the CD, put it on tape <laughs> yeah. so you can listen to you it You wanted to make your mixtape because yeah. you couldn't burn CDs. You right. needed to make a tape if you wanted to listen to different shit. Yeah. Like, That's I only what... want this song off of this CD. Yep. Or if I, I don't know if I ever got lucky enough to record something off the radio, but I know I, I heard tapes so I that, that were off the radio. Yeah. So Because, like, listening to hip-hop, they only had, like, the one station that would come on at, like, Maybe like ten o'clock at night, so I'd have to stay up. So you were like, hit the, hit the damn thing to listen to it, and then in the morning I would have to go through. Oh, and you would kind of like edit through oh, to get the commercials out of it and all that shit. Yeah. But I would like stay up because I knew wow. like the next day, like I didn't think like, about did, that. Did you hear? You like, would just record for an hour. Yeah, it would have and to be get like, what you whole, got. Like whatever you and got, then listen you got. to it. Yep, because I knew like wow. the next day they'd be like, "Did you hear like LL Cool J's new song?" Wow. And I'd be like, "No, I hear it." I'm like, "How you guys?" They'd be like, "You got 10 o'clock at night." Like there's rap station, <laughs> yeah. all hip hop, and there I was like, "Oh shit!" Now I gotta sneak in there, put it in the tape because they're like wow. in bed and all this shit. <laughs> and I'm just like, so I let that shit just That's play. That's awesome. And the next day, That's how it happens. Like, yeah, just... doubled up with the second one and push pause or let it, you know, push yeah. pause on this one. Let the commercials go through, and then you start playing when the song came back. I was like, "Yeah, we fucking." 
work for that shit. Yeah, Seriously. <laughs> it's so easy right now. <laughs> like, it's so You easy. can make your own playlist in two seconds on Spotify. Because yeah, then the same and, amount of time used to go into downloading one fucking song. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or one and a video. Virus. Or, yeah, <laughs> and a virus. I got LimeWire. It's like, I get this and, Beastie and Boys vi- song. The and weird virus. thing is that the viruses were literally just people our age trolling. Just figuring yeah. out how to fuck with people. There was, it's not like they were stealing our personal information. None yeah, of that it was shit was out there. Or something. Yeah, it was just our fucking phone number to the, uh, to the <laughs> yeah. phone company. You know what I mean? Like, they're not <laughs> getting like, anything. Like, why'd you send us Yeah, this? nobody was ordering anything online. Yeah. People that probably getting porn with a credit card online. Maybe that was one of the first things people were buying right. and getting, yeah. getting their shit jacked. But nobody was buying anything online. So they're not getting your information. It was literally just people fucking with people. Like, yeah. this is finding the whole... In this operating right. system, and you're a casualty of that of AOL's hole. I figured, you know what I mean? Got like a virus at some time back then. Yeah, <laughs> I've shut down many computers yes. back in my day. My parents bought lots of new computers. <laughs> yeah, I remember and first, I like fuck when em I first up. put on theirs, and they had like virus. I was like. What's wrong with the computer? I remember yeah. saying it. Like, I was fucking, uh, was it Tommy Boy when he ripped it? Oh, <laughs> what'd you do? Yeah. What'd you do? <laughs> like, I turned it on and, like, shit didn't work. And I was just like, I don't know what's wrong with the computer. <laughs> I used to make so many more personalized fucking playlists. Yeah, yeah. Because you would download the song you wanted. Because I eventually graduated to downloading discographies. Like if I liked yeah. a, a band or whatever, like Led Zeppelin's yeah. discography, the Beatles discography, Pink Floyd's discography, I would just go through and get George Carlin's discography. I did that <laughs> at one point. Oh, really? I had, I at, when I worked at Lab Glass, I went through a good month or so of, I had every George Carlin stand up, the audio of it. And then he did a bunch of books where he would do like bits in the book. So I'd listen to that too. I just would be so bored working at these scientific jobs, like just fire polish and the same thing over and over. Yeah. I'd have a thousand pieces that I just had to fucking smooth the end on. It was the most, I'm like literally falling asleep doing this shit. I would just listen to fucking George Carlin for hours. So this is weird, just little side thing. So like most of these ebooks, yeah. or not most of them, I shouldn't say that. But a good percent of them are done by like serial killers that are stuck in jail. Nah, I just read about it. it was oh, like, really? Yeah, like some, one of their jobs to yeah. So it's just it. They're like, what else? You don't have anything wow. to do, so they're just like, here, you read these books. So if it's not like by a celebrity, there's a good chance that it's by some serial that's killer that's cool. in there, or like that somebody cool. <laughs> that's somebody that's in there for most of them. They said like thirty percent is in serial killers, life. but somebody that's in there for life is reading. If it's not somebody you know, if it's not the, if it's author, not the author or yeah. a voice yeah. author, there's a good chance that wow. it's by a, like somebody that's in jail for life. And I was like, oh shit, I would never like that's something for them to do. It's what the I'm fuck cool you gotta do? It. Yeah, I don't care. You read good, that's it. I mean, that's I'm not doing anyway, but gives them something yeah. to do. They probably made a couple bucks. Yeah, like, literally like a couple bucks. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was cool. It was like they said, twenty or twenty to thirty percent is serial killers, and then like you'll have wow. other like time set like. People with life sentences. Got Ted Bundy reading yeah. your shit. Yeah, like you never know. Like Wild. they're like you just think about it. Like if, if you're one of those people to like always listen to them, right. like, you don't know who you're listening to. You right. like dude to kill like thirty people. You don't know. Yeah, but yeah. It's, they got, keep it's just like one of those stupid it. like fun facts that like show up on like shit. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it makes sense. Like yeah. you don't yeah. got nothing else to do, so you might as well have this. When I listened <laughs> to Ready Player One, it was read by. Will Wheaton. Oh, yeah. And that's all I could think about was Family Guy. Family Guy, yeah. The whole time I'm listening to this guy because he's doing all the voices. So he'll change his voice for this character, and he did them all. And I'm like, Will Wheaton (laughs) is pretty good at changing his character voices. It was was wild, dude. It was, But, yeah, he wasn't a serial killer. (laughs) That's what he said, yeah. Well, like, it was probably cool to get him to do that. Yeah, Yeah, because he could change his voice to all these different things. Like, if you get somebody that can, like, because he probably read it. He can get into character. He's a regular actor. I don't know what the fuck he was in. He was in Big Bang Theory for a while. He was in Big Bang Theory. Who was he in that? Will Wheaton. He was himself because Uh, he was, like, in one of the nerdy shows. I don't know what it was, like Star was Trek like, or something like that. He was in like 80s movies, and then he was in Star Trek. Yeah, when he so got probably, I think like that's probably... I guess not watch Star, Star Trek. Trek either. But you ever watch Stand I By Me? Either. He's yeah. in there. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Will Wheaton's one of the... He's Is the main, he? He's, he's one of the, the kids? Kid. Not yeah. River Phoenix. Not the River other. Phoenix. It was like the... His Dude, best I friend. tried to tell Ashley about that movie, and she's... I tell everybody. I tell her about movies, and she just rolls her eyes. 
But she would like that one. Stand by me is. Yeah, she's never seen it. I guess, That's what I, I said. I can still watch that. And be I like, should never even seen Hook. Good movie. You seen Hook? A, a long yeah, time back ago. in the day when it came out. Fine. She <laughs> didn't even know it was about Peter Pan. She. She's like, can you not? I put it on. <laughs> Brad, I put it on, and it was on for a good fifteen minutes before I realized. She doesn't know what's about to happen. And I was like, <laughs> really? I'm like, you never. She's like, what is this? And I'm like, <laughs> what? Is it Disney? Probably. I I mean, Peter I'm Pan like, that's Disney, Robin right? Williams. Yeah, is, he's fucking Peter Pan. And he's going to go to Never Never Land. <laughs> Rufio. Rufio. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't know what this is? And she's like, I have no idea. Vaughn didn't either. I think the next day. I'm like, Lauren, you know what Hook is? <laughs> Nothing. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm not even in the Disney like I that. But no, I but that movie was the shit. Rufio had the gold sword. Yeah, I mean, I definitely watched it before, but like, that's why I said you can go through Disney movies. I've never seen half, like mm-hmm. the old, like cartoon type deals. I never watched that shit. I never. Had I've seen some of them. I've seen, you know. I've seen them as, like, more as an adult slowly yeah. now, but if you would ask me, like, 20 years ago, you'd be like, you see Bambi? I've like, never seen Bambi in my life. I don't think I... I think yeah. I... I saw it when I was a kid. Yeah. I remember Bambi get, or the mom getting shot. But my parents were never like... They oh, we movies. had... They weren't movie people. They would take you every once in a while. We would go to the movies, but they weren't like renting movies. It took me until like damn near high school uh, when I started did. like... My sister got a job at a movie store. I think and that's I why going. I watch shows so much. Yeah. Because we... <laughs> did we had a... Remember a hope chest? You ever had a mm-hmm. hope, yeah. We had a hope yeah. chest... Full of all the Disney movies, like all the and they had VHS's, their own little those, thing, right? Yeah, they had the like little, a special. Yeah, I was when say, you bought yeah, a Disney like movie, thick, had that plastic thing, yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. opened up like this yeah, instead yeah. of just sliding out like all the fucking serial yeah, killer fucking thing. movies. Yeah, there's like that Disney hard plastic, yeah. yeah, like white, shaped like a VHS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> like our our Little Mermaid probably had the gold dicks on it. You know what I mean? Like we had all the real original boys. Yeah, like when they came out. And I remember we used to watch all of them, dude. I've seen, I've probably seen all the fucking old Disney movies. Yeah, shit. Like I said, like we got Dis- like Disney Plus, another one we fucking pay for. But I look at those movies, and I was like, yo, I can go through all these and watch them now, like they were fucking brand new because yeah. I never grew up watching. Like I said, yeah, I started like, like hundred one Dalmatians, like skateboarding fucking... at like ten or eleven. I was fucking not watching movies. Yeah, I gave up by then, so <laughs> I was like, I wasn't watching other shit. I made my sister see them, but like I never mm-hmm. fucking took the time out of my day. So now every once in a while, like something would be on, be like, "What's this?" Be like, Are you fucking serious right now? Like what? Like the cartoons? Like I said, when it yeah. got older, like when like Hook stuff yeah. like that, I've seen that. But Toy Story, like, all the old, yeah, like that shit, all Pixar when it came out. I've seen every fucking Pixar movie. I feel like Monsters Inc. That was a good. Yeah. But now, like old ass cartoons, I could probably sit there. Like I've still to this day haven't seen Bambi. <laughs> yeah, know? I haven't either. But Stand by Me. That Stand was by a, Me is that was fucking a good, good fucking saying. movie. I got this so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can grab me one. Hey John, how was the vacation? <laughs> I ain't yeah, talking about your vacation it. at all. Vacation is the same as it always is. Yeah, just the whole. Yeah, but it's super nice. It was suck coming back though. Like you just feel as you got. Out of the area that was about to be hotter. 90 fucking degrees when yeah. you got there. Because up there, like, the highest was, like, 82. But you're up in the mountain, so it's, like, a little breeze. Yeah. And there's no humidity or nothing like that. So you're just like, this is fucking great. <laughs> I <laughs> think they're going to New York next week. The week coming up. They have family there? Is that what they go there for? Well, Dave, mom and dad live there. Oh, okay. So her mom and dad are taking their camper. And then I think Dave... Um, so Ashley and Dave's sister are going, and then Dave and Clayton will go at the end of the week when they're right. off of work. It is nice, like I said. I could spend the whole summer up there doing shit, hiking, doing all that dumb yeah. shit, but I wouldn't want to be there in the wintertime up there. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. me neither, but. Yeah, they said you pretty much, like, where they live, like I said, even going, like, if you went down the driveway, it's like going down a damn roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous to get there, so I couldn't even imagine, like, people to actually stay in that area. If their house is like theirs, like yeah. how their driveway is, but like, I'd want to be out of there as soon as the first snow hit. I know. <laughs> when I walked in the last time, I was like, "Damn!" Yeah, you don't notice when you're sitting in it. Yeah. That's everything. Uh, it was probably one of the like a string hanging off of there. I was wondering, what you're doing? I was like, "The pier's not in there." John, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I just got him one. You got big tiles in the 
Uh, in the bottom left, there's no more left. You can get me a little one, don't matter. I know it's hot as shit. I'm not too bad, but I was cold earlier. Really. Yeah. Oh. oh, I got myself properly. What do you, um, for tomorrow, how long are you staying at the party? I did my plasma today so I can live it up tomorrow. Oh, uh, really? Because I got Sunday off, so I'll be, I'll be able to drink it. Yeah. Party it up. We'll see what time we're we going over. Well, it's not till three, so I'm hoping to sleep till like one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah. All right. I got to make some salsa. Salsa. Yeah, salsa. Some salsa? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some salsa. I got a couple. I got some cayennes growing that are they're not red yet, but I'm going to take one off. That's still green, so it's not quite so hot. <clears throat> Do that in there. A little bell pepper, a little grape pepper, a little onion, a little cilantro. And your maters. Yeah. Yeah, grape tomatoes. And then the other night I had them plum tomatoes. That's the one you, like, um. I blanched them. Yeah. And then, so you put it in a boiling water for two minutes. And then you throw in ice water. And the skins get all loose. And then you peel the skins off of them. And then that's how you make the sauce. But you need San Marzano's or plum tomatoes because they're meatier inside. You use like a big Jersey tomato. They're all juicy and shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't fuck with tomatoes anyway. I'm just growing these ones because I know they'll make good sauce. And I like sauce. <laughs> yeah. I don't like tomatoes on a sandwich. They're yeah, for Ashley. either. You don't like a... I just ate a tomato sandwich before you guys got here. That's fucking gross. I got some it's better it's boys. Made. It's so good. I got some of them coming. There's, all we've had so far is cherries and grapes and like the smaller ones. But the bigger ones that have been growing have all been green or all starting to turn red. So I got some big Jersey tomatoes coming soon. What about the, if you put a cherry tomato on a um, shish kebab? Nah, off the grill, you don't eat that either? Nope. Nah, really? my, si my sister did a oven omelet the other day when we were there. And she sliced them in half long ways and put them on top of the, what's that, a frittata or yeah, something? Yeah. I don't know, whatever the fuck that egg thing is. I ate it like that because yeah. it's like Everything. roasted with all the shit together. Yeah, it's all yeah. soft. Like, I don't really like onions, but if you chop them up real fine, I'll yeah. eat them no yeah. problem. Exactly. So it's the same with tomatoes. Flavor like, if it's, if it's in shit and you chopped it up, like yeah. I'm just not eating. I'm like, cool with it. Tomato sandwich, but like yeah, I'm not fucking. Mm -hmm. I'll just. But be like, yeah, I'll eat a big <laughs> scoop of it on a chip for salsa though. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah I mean? me too. Yeah, I'll eat the shit out of that. Everything, yeah. Right when it's all mixed up, it's got all lime juice squirted in stuff. I think that's pretty much it. Like onion. If I get a burger with a tomato on it or like a big onion ring. Yep, Fuck. taking it right no, the onion ring out. Of here. I don't like the yeah. onion ring. I hate put the tomato like, on whoever it is that chops them up, Burger King or McDonald's, one of them chops it up real fine. Uh, McDonald's, and I'll, uh, McDonald's. Okay. I'll eat, yeah, I'll eat them shits. No problem. Yeah, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Now. But like, Bird, I wouldn't have used to. I used no, to no. scrape. That them was off. the only time. But like Burger King, you like pick them up and just be like. Get that off there. Yeah, get that shit off Whopper, there. They always yeah. the whole like, I don't want to yeah. fucking look at a whole I look at that shit on the menu, and I'm, if there's anything that resembles mayonnaise, or if there's tomatoes on it, can I you get that like sandwich? Mayonnaise either? Nah. No mayonnaise, no tomato. Get that shit off of there. <laughs> so, Do you like, not like potato salad and stuff either? No, I'll eat it in that or tuna fish. Oh, okay. I'll let it go for that. And I'm, it's mixed I'm like, with other shit. It's so weird. <laughs> but I put mustard and shit in with my tuna fish too to like I mean, I do. I do tame it out. Yeah. I use. But I like mustard. Or uh, I like mayonnaise. Brown too. mustard and some uh, or some Dijonese. You ever get that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dijonese. That's <laughs> good. That's the good. It's so always fucking... like weird because I had like one time at work we ordered like I ordered cheesesteak. Now I put mayonnaise on my cheesesteak. <sighs> So just one, I had, so I had like it was from Italian kitchen, so it's big like room pantry or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, he went the other half, and he was like, "What's on it?" And I was like, "Cheese and uh, mayonnaise." He was like, "No." Nah. I was like, "You're not gonna eat this whole big yeah. ass like a free sandwich." No. And he was like, "No, nah, not eating that shit." And nah, I, was like, weird, yeah. I don't like mayonnaise on a cheesesteak either. It's like I like it on like tomato sandwich or yeah. like I would have it on like a ham and cheese. Nope. But like if I have Ruins to make it myself it. and I want to make, I'll just throw mustard yeah. on it. I'll do it dry before I put mayonnaise really? on yeah, it. Really? That's crazy. Oh, really? Just ham, cheese, and bread? Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> that's yeah. nuts. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think, well, especially on cheese. I never taste it on cheesesteak. It's, I don't know. It's cooked in there. I don't know whatever, why it grosses me out so bad. It's like the te it's a texture thing. That's yeah. why mushrooms used to get. They well, still I don't like mushrooms either, but there's yeah, no, I can't. I mean, the texture of mayonnaise? Yeah, it's like. Uh, and it's like sour and gooey. But it's fine because like mushrooms, <laughs> like I'll I'll legit uh, pull mushrooms out. There's you can chop them up, uh, find the yeah, shit. I'm yeah, like yeah. I'm not. I'll find them. them. Yeah, I found. I, I'm like 
That's extra chewy. Ah, yeah. oh, there's like, fucking oh, dice. That's, that's, that's the one weird yeah, one. Yeah. Like you try to yeah, chop yeah. that yeah, up, that's not working weird. for me. It is. Exactly. Yeah. I see that weird like, spongy. I don't know what that is. That looks weird. Not spongy, but not spongy. Yep, moving it yeah. over. Teflon sponge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, onions. I'm good if you chop them up super fine. Yeah, I can deal with them. Well, we get the real Mexican tacos up at work now, and it's just like whatever meat. If it's chicken, right. chorizo, steak, and then it's just. Uh, cilantro and onions, chopped fine chopped onions yeah, yeah. on top, and cilantro, and then you squeeze a lime on top. Yeah, I thought this place is uh, right up here. Is yeah, like the yeah. real, yeah. the That's real just, shit. Yeah, I have. I like yet, me an American taco too. Right, so me too. Meat, oh, yeah. lettuce, yeah. cheese, yeah. hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, love it. No tomatoes on that neither. Right. <laughs> Fucking, but a regular Mexican taco yeah, yeah. with the cilantro and the onion. The onions are like little flavor pockets. Yeah, they they like are. burst when you chew into them. That's what I said, so but it comes up there like good. these little tiny squares yes. so I can deal with that shit. They can't like, put a, a strip yeah, of an onion on yeah. there. Ugh, like, all right, yeah, I take a like, bite of like it. Said, no. When I got them all up here and had all that shit on there, I'm like, oh, I can eat this. Like, I don't give a shit about yeah, this. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. Same with, like I said, McDonald's now. Like, I would never pick all them off. Not well, now. I wouldn't either. Yeah. If I got it by accident and they yeah. put it on it, I would order it without them for right. sure. That double quarter pounder, though, is good. Yeah. I mean, I'll still order that, but I'll take the shit off there. Lettuce is staying well, there. They have have to, no, the no. lettuce can stay, yeah. I don't think they yeah. have lettuce on there, do they? I thought they did. On, or I'm not thinking of Whopper. You're thinking of Whopper, Whopper. yeah. Whopper has all the yeah, veggies yeah. on there. I know. I'm like, well, tomato. like, I need that. And I'm like, I'm taking half the damn sandwich. And it's so sloppy. As soon as you bite it, like the tomato yeah. slides. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll be ordering them sandwiches that don't got none of that on it. Let the me get a baconator. Let me get yeah. Bacon King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bacon yeah. King's good. I like a stacker over a Bacon King because I like the stacker sauce. Yeah. And a Bacon King's kind of huge. It's but I like too it. dry. I the king size I'll eat it. It is. <laughs> Listen, dude, I've eaten it too, but I feel like a piece of shit after yeah, so I eat it. Yeah, it's a but I, w- I love it. It's something about their Because then you got all them fries and the Coke in you, and you're like, yeah. fuck, dude, that was too much. I remember Kylie one time. She was like, you're eating that whole thing? And that's I was like, that's why I eat out in the living room by myself. I don't want the kids to see. I'm like, like fuck that shit out of here. The yeah. stackers are double too, but yeah. it's like the half yeah. of the side, the, the, the yeah. patties aren't as big. That Bacon King, yeah. they got He's a king. big patties, bro. <laughs> and it's got the bacon on there. Yeah. Yeah. The and they didn't throw no veggies on it. They were like, nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. They know what we want. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want no nothing. If yeah, you're going to do anything, put some lettuce, but you're going to ruin it with that. I don't need that. I love their sound. There's something about, like, I guess the grease they cook it in. It shit oh. always feels like it's just stuck in your throat or yeah. something like that, but I'll, but I'll still eat the fuck out of it. <laughs> like, you're I like, love Johnny Burger King's my favorite. Too. Yeah, Burger King's They got the best too. fries. They got the best everything. Though. I know. Especially if you got to buy for, like, the family. Yeah. Like, that sucks. <laughs> like I, I go. To, I go to Burger King by myself. Uh, yeah, I, the, I get. I get I like spend a, sixty dollars. Like when I'm coming home from fucking Burger King. Fuck, yeah. dude, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I went to Wendy's today on my way home from plasma. I'm like, I was good for two days to have yellow fucking plasma. Yeah. <laughs> so on my way home, I stopped at Wendy's and I got the fucking bourbon bacon burger. Disappointed. Right, Thought right, it was right. gonna be a double. It was only a single. And it the was, meat there is better though. It was a good. It was good. I shouldn't complain. I think I was just mad because I'm a fatty boom baddie, <laughs> and, you and I wanted a double. A double yeah, right? And it was a single. Nobody's ordering a goddamn single. What the <laughs> fuck is this? Because I know with the baconator, they yeah. ask you, you want single, double, or triple. And I was like, I kind of want triple, but I'm trying not to look. I was in high school. I tried to be triple, but it didn't matter. But now I don't think I can pull that off. I'm always asking for double. Every time I'm there, I'm like, I probably want that triple. Right. But I cannot make somebody order it. I don't think I can pull that off now. That's like, you want the Whopper Junior? Like, now where's his dad at? Yeah. That's why your belly's touching the damn steering wheel because you keep getting the goddamn triple. So ordering a double, like, I'm not a fat ass. Like, shit. I'm just sitting there, like, this is serious. Yeah. And, and then you eat it by the time you get home. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like the fastest to eat. Oh, you're eating yeah. three you grab like fries and shit. They like, say there's like a, a hundred different cows in each patty, so you're eating like three hundred <laughs> different cows worth of fucking meat in the in the twelve minutes it takes to get from fucking Burger King to home. It is okay. weird though because one. Is like nothing, but you had two more, and it's like, damn, yep, like you're like, damn, this point is hard. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the last bite, you're like, you lock your, unlock your jaw, <laughs> yeah. snake yeah. to eat it, go into fucking boa mode. Oh, I've definitely stopped a Burger King on the way home. 
and finished my burger, fries, before and, you made it, home? and half the drink before home. And you, you know where it's probably it seven minutes because you're messing up because you don't look at that dollar forty nine nugget sign. Nah, I've That's gotten them on top on too, though. <laughs> I know. And then I get home and I'm sitting at the table. Feeling like shit. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, I just ate six nuggets on the way home. <laughs> and and then I'm eating the bacon king. <laughs> like, so much. Right. Yeah, I can't throw it away. I can't fucking not finish this thing. It tastes so good. Because there's been times like, Yo, Burger King like, I just want fucks nuggets. me up, dude. Burger then, King fucks me up. He's like, I just want uh, 10 nuggets. So I ordered it. <laughs> Why'd you get two? You stay in the back seat. Don't worry yeah. about it. Fuck out of here, bro. That's what any time, like, like, Heather will be like, you want McDonald's? I'll be like, yeah, get the bundle box. <laughs> She's like, it's just us. And I'll be like, yeah, just get it. Just, yeah. just, just get it. Like, don't be judging me because I'm going to eat two I want a cold bags. burger. At some, yeah. at some point during the day, I'm going to yeah. finish those two Big Macs. At 11 p.m., I need two of them burgers. Yeah, that's what I want because that's what I'm like, later on, I'm yeah. probably going to smoke yeah. weed. And I'm going to be like, Yo, you know what yeah. be good right Oh, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. extra food. But yeah, it's the same. Buns are Johnny's. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's gonna <laughs> not taste so great in the microwave, but I'm still gonna eat this shit. Yeah, like, it's the same. Like first time I went to like Chick Fil A, I remember leaving and then be like, I probably gotta order something to go. That was good as shit. <laughs> so I got like Chick Fil A is good. Like I got nuggets. Then I was thinking about like be at the mall, I'd be like, I should probably just order two orders of these nuggets, and I'm gonna want something later on. <laughs> it's better than making a peanut butter and jelly, but mm-hmm. I love it. Is. So last night I fucking I went into. OCD mode like I do and did all that veggies. I uh, fucking yeah, I the, I chopped, video, yeah. blanched, fucking vacuum sealed everything. You grew broccoli too? Not I was from my mom's. Um, I was going to say, I was like, I, I did from? grow broccoli, but it didn't work because it got so hot early in the year that it fucking made my plants. Uh, I forget the name of it, but instead of being short and growing the broccoli in the middle, they got like three foot tall. And you can eat all the leaves. It's all right. leaves. It didn't grow broccoli. Yeah. It just grew a bunch of leaves. But I should have had broccoli and cauliflower. But yeah, that was for my mom. Point is, I went into OCD mode, did all that shit, didn't eat. Laying in bed, it's 1030. Ashley just went to sleep. I'm like done doing everything. I'm like, I didn't eat dinner. I'm like, fuck. I made me a awesome peanut butter and jelly with extra peanut butter extra you jelly you got on the peanut butter <laughs> fucking glass of do milk taste, do you taste the bread oh uh, no I didn't have the type of patience for that but I do that like doing it better. it, yeah, it does, does make it better I ain't it. hating on it I, just, yeah. I didn't have it in me cause you know them. it's like a soggy bite if you don't toast it when you got yeah. extra peanut butter and extra jelly if it's not toasted it's a lot of mush it's a lot of soft <laughs> with the jelly though I think the peanut butter is alright but you ever see them people with the jelly and then the it's bleeding out the back of the bread. I can't. I can't. You can't I'm, go that heavy. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm, I'm light, on, no, light on jelly. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing extra peanut butter, <laughs> yeah. moderate jelly. Yeah, I, should, right. I should rephrase. Yeah. I'm, I'm, cov- extra, I'm, I'm covering the bread, but it's yeah. not. You can, you can still see some bread, bread underneath. Yes, but because when you put the other bread on top, yeah. the jelly's going to yeah. widen yeah. out. I go hard on And the if peanut anything butter. pokes out the side, I got to lick it around the side like a like an envelope. Before I start eating it, because I can't have jelly be pouring out while yeah. I'm eating the sandwich like a fucking savage. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Brown and jelly is good. It though. is. I still I told, like, I'll get him from work or, or like during lunch, I'll come home, I let the dog out and stuff, and I'm like, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. It's the quickest thing ever, but I always still toast it. We yeah. were watching fucking Shawshank Redemption or something. Another movie Ashley's never seen. Shawshank Redemption. How's that happen? I feel like I I haven't seen it all the way through though. Really? That Dude, shit would used to be on TV it. like no, once a week. No, it's still it's coming back. It's coming back on. Yeah. It was I mean, on I've TV the other lot. night, and I put it on in the very beginning, and Ash is like, "What is this?" And I'm like, <laughs> "God damn it! Who are you?" And I'm like, "She watches like the first 45 minutes of it, but then we started talking about the last meal. I don't know how it even came up because I I thought about it and I'm like, I think." I would want peanut butter and jelly with a glass of milk. Because I can't. Otherwise, I'm going to be oh, all wait. nervous. She did die. that for us, too. The last time she was here. She stole it from whatever conversation last we week, had. Yeah. She was Because they were talking about Tony's birthday party. And then they started talking about. Um, yeah, we had, we had talked about that from watching some jail movie. And I got. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, peanut butter and jelly, extra peanut butter, extra jelly. Large glass of ice cold milk. Last meal? Peanut butter and jelly? Because I think I would be too fucked up in my stomach 
to like I can't eat crab legs or fucking or a crab, crab cake. I would take a crab cake. That'd be Listen, cool. Listen, first off, I don't think you're going to have this kind of nerves because you're obviously in jail for some fucked up shit. But what if you're not? What if you're on death row about to just die and you didn't do, do it? Shit. And yeah. You didn't do it. <laughs> that might you know be different. I mean? yeah. So I think either way, if I'm not dying on my own terms, I ain't going to want to. I can eat a peanut butter and jelly with a glass of milk in any right. situation. <laughs> any situation. Who's this girl? Mm-hmm. Hey, Hello. <laughs> I think that was a skunk. Yeah. No, but I went with um either cheeseburger or wings or cheesesteak, something like that. I could do like pizza and wings. I could probably do a bacon cheeseburger too. Pizza and wings I could do. I could do yeah. that. I think wings is too I got think I'm thinking about it. I think I can't just eat and chew. Wings you gotta eat around the bone. I don't know. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. Glass of milk. I want the cup in the freezer first when you put the milk in it so it stays cold till the last sip. Do you dip your PB&J? No, I just, I take a bite and then chase it with milk. Like as soon as I swallow it, I chase it with milk. peanut butter on there you got to. Palate cleanser. (laughs) Palate cleanser between each bite. And it needs to be cold on each sip in between each bite. Last meal. What was your last meal, Trish? Remember, I know you weren't here. You already left. What would your last meal be? Like if you were on death row. Death get, row, last meal. So you're going to go for them crabby legs like you were talking about. It's too much work. It's too much to think about. You know, you got your own mort- mortality on the line. <laughs> I ain't fucking busting it, trying to pick out the Dude, dude I get, that, back triple, I get that triple thing from Wendy. You just go for it? The tri- <laughs> yeah, get the triple bacon <laughs> yeah. like, large fry. Yeah. Fucking medium meal. Large fry. Large fucking Coke. <laughs> frosty, too. I want to yeah. freeze. I want to <laughs> dip my fucking fries in the freezer. I want the Frosty in a cold glass. Would you do blue claw crabs or would you do king crabs or snow crab legs? And Easy, easier one. to. No, that's not a thing for snow snow crabs, is it? No, but if they're blue claw, then they're number ones that I'd be. I don't even know the fuck that means. No, I just know the snow crab. Like, they're my, I like that. You get the bigger chunks of meat. Yeah, you just you crack it. You get a whole piece of meat. But blue claws taste better, but it's more satisfying with the snow crabs or the king yeah. crabs. It's you more get, satisfying. Like, meat. You, get the, yeah. you get a large thing out of the leg. You That's can dip a, it in your butter and your yeah. old bay and stuff. Yeah. But a blue claw crab leg, the little bit of meat you get out of that when you squeeze it and get it out, tastes yeah. way better. It's, it's like not as bland. It's not yeah. that the other side. It's just... It's more condensed. All that flavor is condensed into a little leg instead of a big leg. Yeah. Too much work. Yeah, that's probably only <laughs> yeah, for a last meal, like definitely. Yeah. I'll take yeah. a crab cake. That's all jumbo yeah, lump right. back yeah, yeah. fin, blue claw. Like no <laughs> shells. I can Whoever do it did it better yeah. be good at their job. And there's no fucking shells in my bite. My last meal can't have any shells in a crab cake bite. I want a minimal filler. I don't need no filler. I just need minimal right. filler. Right, you're all crab meat. Yes, ninety-five percent crab meat, five percent filler flavor to make it taste better. Last meal, all out. Right? Do I get a good yeah. chef? You don't even need a good. Chef. Can I cook it? <laughs> yeah, Please? can I fucking cook <laughs> it? Your peanut butter and jelly. I feel yeah. like you could do that. They're not gonna let me near. Let's a, turn uh, this into a guy's grocery <laughs> games. Can I get ten <laughs> ingredients and a fucking skillet? <laughs> Make your own last meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't trust you motherfuckers to make my crab cake right. I'll shell it. See, that's why I just need a peanut butter and jelly, extra peanut butter, moderate <laughs> jelly, large glass of cold milk. Yeah, I feel Easy like peasy. a thick burger will do it for me. No, thick like burger's it. good, too. Yeah, yeah. Would you like bacon on it? What do you want on your burger? Yeah, yeah burgers. He wants uh, it bacon all. sounds good. Ketchup, Everything that he ketchup, thought he'd mustard, be judged bacon. for, that's what ketchup, he wants. Add mustard? <laughs> Get me some savage. pickles on there. All right. If I made the pickles, I would take them. I don't want yeah. nobody else's pickles. <laughs> I just don't want my pickles with my bacon. I don't like. I like yeah. pickles, but I like pickles I made. Yeah. When I eat other pickles out of a jar, I'm like, I have to like make myself to it. I don't not like them. But I don't. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. If it's on there and I bite into it, we're good. If it falls yeah. off, I'm not picking that bitch up. No. And eat it. Yeah. <laughs> the pickles. <laughs> I'm like, but if it makes it in my mouth, it's what it is for a pickle. <laughs> I like me some pickles. What? Stromboli. What kind? What's in the middle? What's the filler in the Stromboli? <laughs> steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. Yeah, steak and cheese with the sauce. No buffalo chick? 
Mushrooms. Oh, yeah, fuck, we're, we're Trish. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. That's so disgusting. He doesn't even notice when there's freaking uh, mushrooms. Yeah, he does. Some, yeah, he, he does. does but Teflon sponge in there. He's just a little better eating them than when yeah, the when I, I was me. drunk, <laughs> drunk <laughs> one night. And she had yeah. a cheese. She brought a cheesesteak home. And I, was, I ate half of it. I was like, that was pretty good. I was like, I'm going to go back. And she was like, there was mushroom in there. I was like, was there no? Why'd you tell him? I hadn't eaten. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's terrible, Trish. My whole, ate my whole si- my dinner. He ate my whole No, sandwich. but when I was sober, we went to uh, that overrated ass the Apollo's. Yeah. And they used to have the best crab cakes. No, but I got the um, the cheesesteak, and they said they couldn't substitute the mushrooms out. I was like, all right, I'll just get them out. And I bit, and I tasted one, and I could not finish it. Then I give it to Jesse. Because the flavor was all through it. Yeah. Mm. I don't mind mushroom flavoring. Like right, you, I'll take it in like a you make a beef stroganoff right, or whatever right. the fuck ever. Or I'll a, take that with the noodles yeah. with the meat and the little tiny diced up little fuckers. Yeah, but I just don't want that little. If there is a cheesesteak, that little chewy bite they can't yeah. replace it. It needs to be like a centimeter biggest. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, it has like to a be. giblet. Like, you just like it, you know, you, yeah, yeah, yeah cut, cut up the turkey heart like. and make giblets. Yeah, make the mushrooms giblet size, <laughs> and I'm cool with it. Or like you throw them on pizza, and I'd rather have pineapple than definitely, mushroom. definitely. I fuck. Do you eat mushrooms pizza. at all? No, no. All three of us don't. Yeah, fuck that's what yeah, I said. Dude. Like I can't. Do, that's I can't awesome. Fuck with them. I've never been at a table with three people that don't eat mushrooms. Just like that is not awesome. It is. Yeah. Yeah, trifecta of power at this yep. table. <laughs> no, and that's insane because you both married people that love mushrooms. That's not. I insane. like other guys' mushrooms. I don't like the. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. It's insane. What's going on? <laughs> it's just mushrooms. And it's not like every meal has everything. mushrooms on it. I love everything. Yo, y'all make your stuffed meatloaf with the mushrooms, and you make one for me and Brad. That don't. Yeah, I want to make Dave, my mom's. I meatloaf. like the way I don't know who started doing it in this realm. But I ain't never had anybody mix bread in with the innards of the fucking meat. I know. No, not regular bread, uh, bread crumbs. My dad, no, yeah, but when they do the stuffed mushroom shit, they just take white bread and mix it up in with the meat. They just shove pieces of bread in with it. And I did it once, and it's so good because you get a little chewy piece of bread in with the fucking (laughs) bite of meat. Yeah. 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 My dad dad would do oatmeal. When we were trying to be healthy back in the day, instead of breadcrumbs, <laughs> my mom would do breadcrumbs and my dad would do oatmeal and fucking. But either way, it was always either breadcrumbs, it was something a dry fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you just you doing right, the yeah. egg and all the shit you do with the meat, and then you just take like two or three pieces of fucking white bread and just mash it all up in with the meat, and then when you're eating it, you get that little <laughs> bit of like creaminess in there. It's fucking good. It's good, but I don't think they'd be doing that shit. To ours, Brad. That's no. the point here. Oh, no. They make no, yeah. They make they wrap it up in bacon, trying to make it look nice. Right, right, right. And then, but they make their fucking stuffed mushroom meatloaf with the fucking meat and <laughs> eggs and mushrooms and, our and, and bread <laughs> and yeah. bread. And then they get yeah, we get the end with the no <laughs> fucking bread. Got the little the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We get the fucking you know it's cool. It's got the little char on the outside. Even if they make a separate one. The separate one is just the meat and the egg. It is. It don't got no bread mixed in with. They don't just take the mushroom away. They take all the other shit. It's away. literally a meat loaf. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah, loaf of yeah. meat. It's a, it's ground beef taken out of the back and mixed shape. with an egg and fucking. <laughs> it is for these. I want the bread. I want the bread in for these it, idiots. Yeah, get, what the fuck? Oh man. <laughs> you know I'm right, Trish. You know I'm right. <laughs> It was like when Ashley gave me the fucking pot roast the other day with all the veggies in the garden that I grew and vacuum sealed and did all that shit. And, and then we did the fucking, we did the roast and shit. And Trish comes out and hands me the plate that Ashley gave her to give me. And it's got one and a half green beans and one carrot. <laughs> and I'm like... These carrots were my, like, fucking pride and joy I mean, when I pulled them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fucking out there <laughs> selfieing it up with my carrots. <laughs> and I get the, like the fucking bunny. plate of the pot roast, and it's got one and a half green beans and one slice of carrot. <laughs> I'm like, babe. I didn't, I didn't even look at it. I'm just like, babe. She's like, I was just making plates for everybody. I didn't know what plate you're going to get. 
<laughs> Why are you giving anybody this mediocre ass amount of fucking veggies? I What's work hard for this. Happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> When are the, I was so mad. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me right so now. Because I had already told her about how she skips me on the mashed potatoes and shit. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, you be giving me these tiny amounts of mashed potatoes. I know you're trying to make sure to stretch for everybody else, but I need more than like a teaspoon of mashed potatoes. <laughs> and then the next, personal, and then the next meal, she skips me on all my veggies. <laughs> like, yo, I got all these rainbow carrots in here and shit. Can I get a couple colors? <laughs> like, let me get a purple. Let me get a fucking orange. I got a half an orange one. <laughs> <laughs> got the old school carrot. Yeah, I got a half of the regular old carrot. None of the rainbow. For car for these magical ones. <laughs> Fuck. That's so when are the uh, potatoes coming? Whenever they die all the way. Then they're ready. So like the leaves on top have to die and then you yeah, can pull them? He said the whole plant got to look dead. <laughs> you can get like half of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah better Dude, get some potatoes purple potatoes. Nice. <laughs> I got some purples and some yellows. <laughs> got the little ass off for you. Yeah, we're going to have purple potatoes. mashed potatoes soon. Like I the, heard the potato that. part's purple, like the inside. Oh, wow. John had his first yellow watermelon. Yeah, no. kind of, they're good. Kind of yeah, it was good. Or what kind of, uh, like, vitamins is in that? Mm, purple ones. <laughs> <laughs> purple <laughs> pills. Purple stuff. <laughs> D12. Promethazine. Yeah, everything <laughs> purple is good. Is less <laughs> I don't know. They're little, too. They're little mini potatoes. Oh, we can put them right in the roast. I got mini golden ones and mini purple ones. I'm ready for a ro- crockpot roast. It's too hot for that, though. It is. You know what? The roast, when, like, there's football in the background, like, that's the best. It's, like, a little cold outside, mm-hmm. a little fall time. Go snag a couple couple veggies, snag a little broth. Yeah. Divine. Divine. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, we did that shit. We did. It's <laughs> almost three hours. I didn't know you guys really? Were still on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Two hours and 41. Hmm. And still going. <laughs> Where are you going to call? Oh, I forgot. Jesse wanted me to bring something up. She's like, I'm not going to be here for the podcast, but can you bring this up? It's, um, so she went to Philly. Yeah. And apparently they locked the toothpaste up in, like, uh, pharmacies, like CVS and Rite Aid and whatever. <clears throat> Weird. Four, I don't. Know. Uh, there's, I guess there's homeless weird. people. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. And, and then at the same time, she's like, "Well, you should probably give it to them." Like they're. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like at that point, you're locking it up. If you don't go buy like some tubes of toothpaste. Yeah, but you got Kenny you. out there. He's stealing it. Yeah, well, that's what they're. Kenny's at the Ben Franklin Bridge every day, so you best believe he's fucking. <laughs> part of his routine is going there with a sign, getting the money he can, going into the pharmacy, buying what he needs with that money, and stealing toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> Sad reality. Man, I've never seen that shit ever. Yeah, well, I see I mean, Kenny every day. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I've just seen toothpaste. him today. He's he's been he's there still in there much much more frequently lately. He's I saw him showing up to work at seven thirty this what's morning. What's his or eight? Time? It was eight. Uh, I don't know. I try not to look and make eye contact when he's walking next to me because I don't want to recognize me. It's like please help. Thank you for anything. Whatever. Just a uh, basic ass. They all share the signs. I see everybody carrying the same sign. He was showing up at eight today. I think he was late. I think I was there at eight ten, and he was walking across the street. He should have already been on his shift. I swear <laughs> they all run shifts. They all talk yeah. to each other. They all go in between red lights and talk to each other. It's a job. You probably yeah. got to know somebody to get that spot. I don't th- <laughs> They're going to beat your ass. There's up. not multiple. There's like one person per lane. Do you, you probably get yeah, Like, this is my yeah. fucking lane, motherfucker. Get out of here. Yeah. Like, you don't. You just, I've earned this spot. You know? It's like selling drugs, but just collecting things. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Shitty change. It's my corner. I gave the one dude a basket of strawberries one day. They probably get all kinds of random shit. They're probably <laughs> mad as fuck at you. Like, no, I he was at, he, I was like, I rolled the window down, and I was like, I had one to bring up to Timmy at work, and I, I had two of them. I'm like, you like strawberries? He's like, yeah. I handed them to him. He looked at me. I was like, I grew them in my garden. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, Thanks. He, when I told him I grew them in my garden, he was, if I would have just right. owned there from the store, he wouldn't have gave a fuck. I was like, I picked these today for my garden. He was like, 
thanks. You could tell he was like genuinely yeah. like <laughs> fucking like, oh, okay. Shit, yeah, can you imagine getting a bachelor's? I'll be happy too. <laughs> yeah. I you wouldn't be because I'd be trying to get a 40 ounce. ounce. You gave yeah. me fucking strawberry. Like, you got 50 cent in there? Yeah. Got I feel, it was hot as shit. You know what I mean? It was yeah. like early in the summer and it was already hot as fuck. I hope you eat these. Yeah, eat these and get a little sustenance for the day. Get a little electrolytes in you or just a little sugar. Hey, before you do your hair. Right. <laughs> Wake up, get some fruit in you yep. before you get to your drug. Yeah. You need to have something in your belly before you shoot up. <laughs> so, kids, if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you know. Get a little something in your belly before you shoot up. Here he comes every day. Every day. I mean, he held off way. I know. <laughs> we would have usually been way yeah. done. Be like 22 cuts, minutes and he'd been out here. Cuts in the first hour usually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Did you guys sit on the couch? We did. Did we sit on the couch? No, did you see the new couch? Mm-hmm. I was all falling asleep out here. I, know, I thought you were asleep when I that came here. That thing looks comfy. It's big. It is comfy. It's like a long cushion. Are we done? We good? All right, boys, we got anything else to talk about? That was a good one. It was. <laughs> it was. It was almost three hours. Kept yeah, it moving. Everything. Kept it moving. All right. Well, All next right. week. All right, then. Peace out. See you.